Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 100th episode of the Tech Raptor Podcast. I'm Robert Scarpino, your features editor. And Rotten Editor in Chief. <laughs> I remember how, I remember how this goes. Oh, sorry. I was talking to your thing, Rutledge. I'll just keep talking. <laughs> well, <laughs> Rutledge is there. And also, I'm here, Andrew Stretch, your DM editor. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Rain us in, Mr. GM, Mr. DM. He's literally <laughs> editing hey, the He's podcast. He's going to slide into your DMs. Well, He's yeah, editing for... the podcast as we're doing it. For those watching the video, you'll see that our layout is a little bit different for hundredth episode. We wanted to do something a little bit, uh, a little bit different, something that we haven't done before. Um, so what we're going to do is play the the first session of the new Fandelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk adventure. Um, we're going to be doing that with the assistance of D and D Beyond and Albert Rodeo, so that we can all play and have a good time. Um, but Shattered right. Obelisk is a sequel adventure to the Lost Minds of Fandelver that was for the longest time the starter adventure for um, for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. They've just released this. I believe this book actually comes out uh, Monday the 18th. So the day that this is out, this book should be out as well. Um, Sweet. But so, think- so it's in the next three hours, you hear us and you're like, I could do that better. You can go out and get it yourself. That's right. <laughs> and you yeah, probably can. can. guarantee you can. <laughs> yeah. uh, so very quickly, I, I want to ask, because like I've been, I got into TTRPGs super late. I've only been playing and running games for about six years, six or seven years now. Um, but I know that you guys all have different varying levels of, of TTRPG experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I I got into D and D college in college times. Uh, I started out as a PC and then I DM'd quite a few campaigns Back during the college, college times. times. <laughs> the college times. It's the before the pandemic times oh, for me. Oh, yeah. like yeah. I like that the way that that sentence was is that I got into D and D college. It's like shit. You're a professional. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I clearly only just had my coffee. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've I played so, a lot of D and D from like both sides of it. I haven't done, or I think I played like a few games of one of those like one sheeter TTRPGs. Mm-hmm. Like I think like Lasers and Feelings I played once. Um, but for the most part, I think most of my tabletop experience is Dungeons and or Dragons. Cool. Gotcha. Rut Otten. No, no. I I'll roll first. roll for initiative. <laughs> um. Mine's pretty minimal. I played in high school a fair amount with a group. And that we was what, like first a... edition? <laughs> because you're <laughs> fucking you old, fuck get it? <laughs> he, he went over to Gary's house. They played. He was one yeah. of the playtesters. Yeah, no, I I played, I think it was 2E back then. Um, and that, that was kind of the extent of it. My college group did not do a whole lot of tabletop RPGs. I didn't really get deep into it until we started a tabletop section here and I started going to Gen Con a lot more than I used to. So <laughs> um, I'm familiar. I am nowhere near proficient. And cool. I, I have never played anything. This is the first time. Wow. Whoa. Well, I hope it doesn't Whoa. suck for you. you yeah, know? well, we'll see. Well, just, just think of it this way. They, fi- they made a Baldur's Gate 3 tabletop game, and that's oh. what we're about to play. Oh, I know that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, have you you've played Baldur's Gate three, right? I have played all of it. <laughs> okay, I've well, beaten yeah. literally all of it. I've beaten it. Then How many hours should be is that? Second nature. One hundred hours. Okay, so we're about to add three more. Anyway, all my friends were lame. They didn't want to play shit like this growing up. They wouldn't even play the Pokemon card game. They're like, no, we just want to collect it. But like, we should like learn how to play. And they're like, fuck you, I just want to trade them. And I'm like, well, wow, all my Dude, friends I mean, suck. I'm convinced. I've seen Pokemon show up at PAX for years now, trying to show off the card game. I'm still yeah. convinced no one in the world knows how to play it. Nobody wants to play it. Yeah, no. that's how my buddies are. Uh, I did. I had the little like met marble like glass things for the counters, hit counters stuff. At all, <laughs> I was ready to go. Nobody wanted to play the fucking losers. <laughs> what about you, Stretch? Like for episode for episode two hundred, we're gonna be. Uh, playing the Pokemon trading card yes. game together. <laughs> Finally, uh, I, I think I'm busy that weekend. Um, uh, that's, uh, that's that's fine. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Also, I, just I, I do not own any cards anymore, hardly. So yeah. <laughs> they're okay, all gone. Everything's digital nowadays. That's true. 
But stretch, you have. Uh, I mean, you said you're recent, but you. I think you probably DM the most out of us at this point. Do it a butt. Don't you uh, do it every weekend? Yeah, I. Well, I'm currently in two games. Um, one that I'm running. Uh, our party just hit level nine last night, so good job to them. Uh, uh, and then another one that I'm playing in that I'm hopefully just about to hit level six. If I don't die, I don't know. A vampire said that he would turn me, and I'm kind of willing to take him up on that offer. So that's, uh, we'll see. But, isn't yeah, that like I, a plot line in Baldur's Gate too? It, it is. That yeah. is. Yes. But yeah, Baldur's. My offer to Baldur's, become a vampire Baldur's. came before Baldur's Gate three came out. So I, oh. I hope that uh, my DM Whatever. is not just ripping ripping off Baldur's Gate three plot points. <laughs> just a- ahead of you in the game, and it's like, oh, you guys don't play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. All well, right, Stretch, you are the master of this pod. Yes, so I, we I are. To you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We are going to be hopping into this game. So where we are going to be picking up is exactly at the end of The Lost Minds of Fandelver. So if you've played and you're listening and you've played Lost Minds of Fandelver, this may you know give a little bit of a spoiler for what might be a first session out of the gate. But with that, we will go ahead and hop right into playing where we joined the party after the defeat of Neznar the Spider and the liberation of Wave Echo Cave. Having safely rescued and reunited the Rockseeker brothers, the party heads back to Phandalin, a town that they spent a uh, majority of their time investigating out of. This party, the mighty Tech Raptors, returns to Phandalin for some good, well-earned rest. Uh, while the trip... <laughs> yeah. It's all it's all spaces. Every yeah. between every letter is a space. Yeah. Um, while the trip back from the Sword Mountains was uneventful, the sight that they met once they reached the town was anything but. There's an angry mob that has formed in front of Town Master Harbin Wester's abode. Um, as you approach, you begin to hear murmurs through the crowds of of. A series of thefts, um, home and property damage, and potentially abducted villagers. Um, as you make your way through this this crowd, um, for for you, Durgal, our total monk of the party, you hear an annoyed elf man in a baker's apron saying. If I see one more of them gremlins come near my shop, I'm hitting them with a rolling pin. I can't take it. And as you continue through again, Skrit, our Kenku, uh, our Kenku rogue, it's a human man holding up a sketch of an orcish woman yelling, my, my wife's been missing for days. Do something, do something, you coward. Stop this. As the party continues to move through the mob towards the building, the door swings open. The familiar figure of Harbin steps out, puts his hands on the shoulders of the party, and pulls them inside quickly, slamming and locking the door behind me, uh, behind him. Um, I I understand they're angry, but do they expect me to take care of everything? I I can't take on a gaggle of no good ruffians by myself. I can't stop anyone who's determined from breaking buildings and stealing things it's, it's absurd i'm sorry what what happened did the three only people who know how to make things happen leave the town and then it all went to shit what happened here well, uh, he, he sits down and begins to mop his his sweaty brow with his handkerchief there's been all all kinds of crimes that have arisen since you left and the, the the town guard, they're they're volunteers, they're farmers, they don't they don't know how to deal with anything serious. Um we don't we don't know what's going on. Well we, we don't either. Do you two know what's going on? Well, I'm surprised that the thefts went up when I was out of town, but weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, um uh could I have uh Elrebrin, our elf Ranger, uh, could I have you roll insight for me? Insight, uh-huh, so, uh, Ooh, and right, you're going to be rolling in D and D Beyond, right? Um, Correct. So I rolled a D twenty. Popped up for us. Fourteen mm-hmm. minus one, so thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's above the DC needed. Very insightful. So, 
you you kind of see as as he moves between the the theatrics of being frazzled and not being sure what to do he kind of keeps pausing leaving spots in case anyone maybe wants to to jump in to offer help um he himself seems to be maybe a bit afraid to do so mm. oh i i don't know what to do what what with all these thefts these these strange these strange creatures running about yeah that must suck uh, well, <laughs> sucks to suck money <laughs> also you know we've got this such a such a booming economy you know i've got all of this extra coin in my purse oh, oh yeah that's right we do need to get paid for uh uh wave echo cave right we did that's true did liberation. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> I don't think that I had a I had anything to do with your dealings about about the the cave. I believe that you've already been paid by by the the Gund, uh, Gundren Rock Seeker and his his brothers. Oh. Yes, they they were meant to handle that. Oh, Can that's I roll right. deception to trick it. <laughs> I mean, you haven't done anything deceptive so uh, far, but... so if you want to do something to attempt to deceive him, see what happens. No. Nah. Roll a no, D20. You gotta do something. 13 plus 2, 15. What are you to see? Okay, you didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, then we just... haven't been paid. Yeah, but he's not responsible. <laughs> Wouldn't you be trying to intimidate him into paying us? <laughs> My intimidation's not good. <laughs> Deception and persuasion's where I'm at, buddy. Rutch just picks something with the highest number and is trying to, <laughs> he's he's trying trying to work that into the I, I'm just I'm, trying to be a cheeky little shit. I'm deceiving him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so you you make paid. up what that means, need, DM. Not chop chop. Yeah, like, if you want more help, you gotta pay us more. <laughs> well, I, I, if you haven't been paid, then I'm I'm sorry. If, if maybe if you're interested in making some extra money, you could investigate yeah. what's going on around yeah. town. Maybe I know that we've already asked a lot of you in this village, yeah. but that would be very nice. I mean, I got paid. I don't know what's up with him. So, I mean, I'll take more payment. Well, what do you need us to do? What are we doing? What are we looking at? Well, uh, from the from the most recent reports that I have, it, there seems to have been some damage done to the well behind Barthen's provisions. Um, the the luck shrine has been destroyed, and um, the the goblins also seem to have have ransacked the bar that used to be the the bandits hideout um mm. yeah but you hear that elrogan can... goblins goblins <laughs> goblins you say yeah. <laughs> he, he'll do it for no money now that's what he keeps saying he, he's told us how oh, much he'll he do hates it for no money oh, yeah he'll he do it for free kind, yeah. kind I, have a, I have a deep hatred for goblins according yeah. to he, he, he'll do it for the thrill of the game the thrill of the hunt yeah, the us That's too. Though, oh, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll I want paid. paid. Yeah, yeah, we want paid. But oh, okay. Um, well, yes, uh, for for you that want to be paid, uh, it'll it'll be. Um, I can I can put down fifty gold for each of you now, and then when you when you have completed your your quest and the town is safe again, then um, another one hundred and fifty gold pieces uh, I can I can pay to each of you. So when the town's safe. Hmm. Yes, after oh, after these investigations. Okay. Why not? Sure. I mean, Why we can I mean, check it check it out on the way out. Nothing, nothing better to do. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna be leaving this shithole anyway. Might as well see what's going on before we go. I I kind of think that the town's nice, but I guess if you, <laughs> I know I know that a lot of people in town have had have had difficulties with your with your. Uh, not so charming ways, script. But I can really tell oh. underneath those. I'm, under just straight, I'm a straight shooter. Is, is a is a heart of gold. Yes, uh, it you're, you're, likes you gold. Yes, <laughs> I do like shiny things. Wait, is, wait, is that you trying to be racist? Say so I'm after shiny shit. I don't appreciate are, are that. Are you? I, I do appreciate a shiny thing now and then, but. That's really yeah, perpetuating the stereotype. That's not that's not good for Kanku people. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying there's a reason the stereotype exists. Not totally wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well I say moving let's, on. <laughs> let's check out. I think let's go check out that bandit cave that used to be the, no, the, ba the bar? I thought it was a bar, tavern or something. The bar that was a bandit hideout. So we got a, the, the sleeping we got a, giant? Yes. 
the hideout, the well, and the shrine. Well, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay in here and away from the angry horde uh, of, of people who don't like me very much. You might want to like barricade your door. They seem pretty pissed. Oh, oh, oh yes, yeah. Um, in fact, uh, if you if you three want to leave out the back, and he leads you to the to the back room, that's just his bedroom, uh, and then he hops up onto his bed and opens the double window. Like, mm. uh, this is the back door. Um, it'll be less conspicuous if you if you leave you this out. way. Oh, my boots sir, are a little muddy, but are you right. used to having pe- strange people leave out this window, sir? Uh, this is this is interesting times. Uh, this Ooh. is the this is not like Fandelver has been. Mm. Well, I okay. I move toward the window and I say, "Sir, I'm a walking turtle. I'm always conspicuous." <laughs> and I <laughs> I, I and jump he, out. He like lifts himself over and flips out, falls out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta roll for acrobatics for that. One. Do I have to? <laughs> what is what is your size, Durgle? Are you a small I, turtle or a medium turtle? I'm a medium turtle. Well, excuse me, a medium yeah. turtle. That's right. Total. Yeah. So yeah, you you are able to to step up with minimal issue um, up onto the bed and then out. Um, the rest of the party joining you. You're now back in the streets of Phandalin. From your time in Phandalin before, you're all well aware of the Sleeping Giant. This is the location where the Red Brands were, uh, you know, this was the bar of choice for the Red Brands. Um, You know it well. You've defeated a couple of people in here. You've definitely had a couple tavern brawls. Um, So you're able to quickly head across town to arrive at the Sleeping Giant. it's now far quieter than the last few times you've been here. Um, as you step in through the swinging saloon doors, the, the tap room of the sleeping giant is quiet. Save for the occasional thunk of tankard against table, the bar itself is in shambles. Um, still, you know, there are some patrons. It's staying open for the purpose of staying open. Um, but there are... Um, the bar itself, like the physical bar, is is broken, shattered. Um, the wooden style smashed to splinters, and the top of it split in half completely. Um, directly behind the bar, there's a tall purple tiefling um, working quietly, taking people's drinks, diligently cleaning mugs and plates. Uh, and in the background, you see the watchful eyes of the surly dwarf owner, Grista. Um, some of the some of the graffiti that you see that has been put on the bar Pretty here. <laughs> what is, did I say? This bar sucks. That, yeah, is that what so that I was is? trying to read that too. Uh, this yeah. bar sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you are watching it on YouTube, or if you aren't watching on YouTube, there is a video of, of uh, Stretch showing some art from from I assume the book. Um, yeah, all yeah. art from the book. The artists in this book are fantastic. Do a great job. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I like that there's a tic tac toe on the bottom left here. Yeah, yeah. Nobody won. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're well, goblins. They're not the smartest. Yeah. That's true. Well, Elder I approach, knows. <laughs> I approach mm-hmm. the bar. Like, there's this huge, like, like it's, it's sundered in the middle. Uh, and I look at mm-hmm. it and ask, what did that? Um, the the tiefling woman responds well um i wasn't here at the time grista knows more about it but um the goblins seem to have taken uh what we had a a large dark stone that that sat in the bar um and the goblins took it for for some reason what kind of stone or do you not know I, it, it was just a a large black stone. Um, it's been here for a while. It was it was built into the bar, kind of I guess a, a conversation piece. Mm. Um, are you all here investigating? No, we're just here having a conversation. Okay, okay. Uh, can I get you all uh, your order? I'll, I'll take a water. Of course. Sure. Anything else for for you, fine sirs? Take a pint. A pint, okay. I'm I'm fine. Don't no, thank you. Sure thing. Um, and she, you know, turns her back to you all as she fills up a a 
glass with water that she quickly hands on the table, you see that it's not the clearest glass of water you've ever seen. Um, and goes to, to pour a pint of ale uh, from one of the barrels behind her. Um, and in a smooth motion, as she turns around, uh, the tiefling moves to kind of uh, kind of tap the tap the mug into the side of the counter, and then kind of pauses for a moment, and then hands you the drink. Um, this as well is not the cleanest looking ale you've ever had. <laughs> yeah, but it's better than dirty water. Yeah. Well, I, I grab the water and like throw it onto my shell, like on the back of it. Um, <laughs> you're just dripping on the floor now. <laughs> wet myself a bit. Yeah, I just need to wet myself a bit. I said um, thanks. I'm that, sorry. That do, you, do you suffer from spasms? Uh, if you want, I can get you like a, a straw. Would a straw be good for a tortoise like you? No, I just I needed my shell to get a little wet, so that that that, was, that hit oh. the spot perfectly. Are you trying to okay. apply my friend sucks over here? I appreciate the implication. <laughs> uh, she she just kind of takes a wary look at, at you all and kind of steps away to go and grab a, a bucket and mop to begin <laughs> to clean up some of the water on the ground behind you. So, uh, Durgle. <laughs> I, I think we fucked it up, guys. Uh, not a good first impression. <laughs> And I'm just okay. standing awkward, awkwardly to the side, smashing the pint. <laughs> just what was the what just was like, just, the owner's name? I guess we don't know the owner's name. You said Grista, it, right? Grista, Grista, right? Grista, yeah. Grista. Well, and should we Grista talk to around. Grista? Grista yeah. seems to know. Seems to know what's going on. More should. Yeah, it's Grista. You're approaching around. Grista. Mm. Yes, uh, Grista's in the back of the room. Uh, kind of standing near a set of stairs that leads to uh, an upper alcove. Um, she's just kind of surveying what's going on, keeping an eye on everything. We go up to Grista approach. and ask about the stone that was taken. Are you all investigating for for the town's master? We, we have yes. been hired, yes. <sighs> Good. About time that he did something other than sit on his fat fucking arse. Mm. Now, you're, you're wanting to know about the, the wee goblins that came and, and ransacked the bar, eh? The alleged goblins, yes. Oh, no. Nothing alleged. I've seen mm. them with my own eyes. They were, they were mm. goblins. They had some weird magic going on, though. It was, it was earlier on today, before the bar had opened, and... I woke up to the sound of wood being damaged and splintered. Uh, climbing downstairs, I thought to myself, look at these wee small children destroying the bar. Uh, and caught Ooh, one of them even ransacking the kitchen, the little gobshite. There's, as I got closer and they turned and looked at me, all I saw were their long flat ears and their sharp teeth. I chased him out of the bar with a very mop that she's sweeping with. And a couple of them even nicked off up the chimney. Did they fly Ooh. up the chimney? No, oh, they scrambled up. up. They can't fly. What's wrong no. with you? Well, they can't. <laughs> so you said strange magic. What, what do you mean, strange magic? Uh, something pulsy and green. Pulsy. Hadn't been something that I'd seen goblins know how to do. At least none from this parts. Oh, was it brave of you to wield that weapon against them? Yes. And I gesture to the mop that <laughs> is currently cleaning up your mess. <laughs> it's, it's all about knowing where to hit him and how to be loud enough to spook him. Mm. Mm. So you spooked, scared him off. Yes, I did. Do they do they make off with anything? Take anything? Yeah, with the ruck in my bar and some mm -hmm. some little bits and pieces of food they tore okay. up the whole kitchen still sorting that out do you know was where the rock they special uh, as far as i know it was it was a nice rock it was something that conversation starter you know like they will Ooh. let's go to the bar with the cool rock in the counter that's you know when i first came to town that was the first thing someone told me about 
was this rock. Told you. So very disappointed to not see it. Do you know where the goblins went? Uh, not, not rightly so. I lost them after they went up the chimney and they were, I heard them pitter patter off the roof for a bit, but if you want to, you could check around the, check around the kitchen. Uh, I think they just stole yeah. some odd ends of cheeses and breads. So did they like bust in the front door or how did they get in? I believe they no. came in the front or they through the in. chimney. Okay. Hmm. Well, should we investigate right. the kitchen? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to use my, my boots of flying. I want to investigate the roof, too. Oh, he's going to fall um, and break his fucking shell, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah, when turtles fly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, so for for you two who are going to investigate the kitchen, um, we'll follow on that first. Okay. So as you as you step back past the bar, you end up in a small, dinky little kitchen. Um, looking around, you see that there are you know mice freely running about, um, you know cooked meats next to raw meats. It's a health code nightmare in here. Um, can I have both of My you make an investigation roll for me? Ooh. Yes, sir. Investigation or perception, whichever you'd prefer. Oh. Anyway, what, I'll do that. It doesn't matter. I, I net 20 first roll. First roll ever. Fuck and yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, That's crap, um, with that nat 20, as you first step into the kitchen, um, Elrebrin, you definitely spot it as well, but you aren't as fast on the move as Skrit is but you see that there is a little stray, a little trail of stray copper and silver pieces um, mm. that you, you hop towards and pick up. Um, and you see that these copper and silver pieces actually lead around one of the counters and then back out into the main dining hall. Um, as you follow the trail, uh, I assume picking up of the course. coins as you go. So you can add five pieces of silver and seven pieces of copper to nice. uh, to your inventory. Nice. Um, but those coins lead around and end up back at the tavern's fireplace. Um, so now Scrappy's on the roof. Or yeah. Sorry, so, on the roof. so it seems that... So you said that there's a... Uh, all around one counter was one. Anything particular about this counter? Is it just cleaned off? Any drawers um, or anything? Or no, no drawers in particular. It's like a, it's like a solid table island in just the an island in the, the okay. kitchen space. And they just so it's basically they just ran around everywhere and bounced. Is what it kind of looks yeah. like. Okay. Uh, well, they ran around everywhere and they got spooked to shit and yeah, they headed out and bolted to the chimney. Okay, so, you know, as, as you guys are, are circling back to the chimney inside where you've seen this trail of coins disappear, Durgle, can you describe to me the process of taking flight? Yeah, so I step outside, and uh, according to the boots, I believe I have to click my heels. Uh, I have to there's click no my heels. no place heel. like home. Yeah, there's no place like home. Um <laughs> And it gives me, like, I could fly for a total of up to four hours or at minimum one minute. So I'm just going to go for the one minute, get to the top, and just kind of fly around until the one minute's over and, and land. Is this like a slanted okay. roof? Oh, yeah. So actually, as you, as you begin to raise up from the sleeping giant, um, there's a shrill shriek that echoes from the roof. You see there, there are three goblin figures standing atop the building muscles tensed in surprise as this turtle has taken off um you see that there's green oh sorry there's only two goblins um you see that there's green energy uh flickering around the fists of one of them while the third wields a blade of the same energy and has a a large cloth sack over his shoulder 
So we with that, we're actually going to swap oh, into battle. Shit. It's happening. Uh, we're doing a fight. I'm going to push Rudd off the roof immediately when we get up there. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. We're buds. Are we? Watch yeah. yourself. Thanks, Keat. Oh, look, we already, look, I, we need to, where he's helping us investigate this and we both are getting his hat cut. So, cause he doesn't want payment. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to murder these goblins. So here, so Skrit and Elrebrin are still inside. And we have no idea. Um, this yeah. With Durgal currently taking flight and then the goblins. Oh, that's right. That's on uh, our, we can look at this. Yeah, there we go. And then you've got the two goblins on the roof. So with that, yeah. I will also have you all roll initiative. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, boy, Ooh. man. Ooh, okay. I rolled 19. What's, I got my, a, what's my plus? 21. I'm at 22. I got an 8. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all Catch right. Up, so yes. This initiative is going to start with Durgle. So Durgle, yeah, you're up now. Elrebrin, you're on deck next. Okay, so they're, right. they are surprised, right? Um, surprise isn't a thing uh, in 5th edition. Oh. Um, they, they are like in the act of being surprised, but mechanically, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking just like emotionally, spiritually, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. mental, <laughs> mental. facial expression. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and i and i yell as loud as i can what never seen a flying turtle before and then <laughs> continue with hey elrebrin script get out here okay uh, okay and then so that's I'll a free action to shout yeah. yeah so now you still have your action your bonus action and your movement so you said it's two goblins with the green energy around them and one with a sword with energy there's, or there's blade. one with green energy flowing around his fists and then another one with green energy on his blade. Okay, but it's two goblins total. Correct. Okay. Um, I'm going to fly right into the one with fists and uh, do an unarmed strike on it. Okay. You can go ahead and move your token accordingly. Right. Ooh, that's right. Phew. So it's going to fly one on forward. That one there? Uh, it's yeah, the it's fist. that one. Cat. Yep. All right. And then I'm going to roll to hit it with my unarmed strike. Okay. Roll punch. I believe in you. All right. That is 15 plus. I'm going to need to figure out a way to get all these up. 15 plus 7, 22 to hit. Okay. That definitely hits. Okay. Damn. That's going to do uh, four plus four damage, eight damage. Okay, takes eight points of damage as you as you punch punch. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think, because I've, I've never played a monk before, but I've got two actions, right? What With attacks, two attack actions, because I think it has extra attack, right? At level five? Yes. Yeah. So you can, you can attack again. Okay, I'm going to do one more punch punch. Okay, roll uh, to hit. That's a 10 plus 7, 17. That also hits. All right. And that's a 1 plus 4, 5. Okay, takes 5 points of damage. So you've now got your bonus action um, left, if you would like. If you have anything how, for a bonus action. How, how's, how, how's he looking? Is he looking all right? Is he looking? He's, he's looking pretty fine. Okay, I'm I'm going to use a key point to do Flurry of Blows to do two more unarmed hits. Okay, go ahead and roll to hit again. <laughs> All right. Hey, fucking yeah. let's gobble it up. Okay, that's 15 to hit. That's a miss. Ooh. Oh. Whiffed. Ooh. And then that's a 20 to hit. 20 hits? Was that a natural 20 or a dirty 20? Yeah. 13 plus 7, yeah. Okay. And then that's a 2 plus 4, 6 damage. Okay, another six points of damage. Yep. Yeah, so with with that, you know, the, the turtle that was already surprised to be flying speeds in and lays out four punches very quickly. Um, and with that, it is going to be Elrebrin's turn. All right, so we're inside That's... right now. We are yeah, at the, so you would need to... the chimney, right? Yeah, so you would need to spend some movement to walk out here. And then uh, it's going to be, 
you know, difficult movement to get up there. Can I use acrobatics to jump? Yeah. Does that you wanna, anything? Um, no, I mean, that would be no. your your action to like try to do like a flying leap up there or something, but that's totally something you can do. Got it. Oh, wait, sorry. Can I can I ask something real quick? Yeah, go for it. Uh, so I'm, I'm just rereading my sheet. I've got drunken technique or whatever I use flurry of blows. I gain disengage. Okay. And, and 10 feet of movement. And monks are broken. <laughs> monks are really broken. <laughs> Dude, geez, this is like some Goku shit. <laughs> um, so with that, I'm just going to like move back 10 feet. Uh, let me quickly double check the wording on that. Which yeah. was, what it's skill was that called? Drunken technique special. Whenever you use flurry of blows, you gain the benefit of the disengage action and your walking speed increases by 10 feet. Well, I guess walking speed, so not flying speed. Um, yeah, but I mean, you would you would have the ability to disengage. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep, and that's disengage applies for everything. So even though there's the second one there, you would be able to also disengage from him. So if you want to, you probably move five, 10, you probably move 15 feet to get into position. Mm. So you can use your remaining movement to, to move away from it all if you'd like. Okay, I'm gonna move away from it all. That's five, 10, 15 feet there. I'll just be hovering okay. above. Sure. So you're still like 20 feet in the air, but you're just like back a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah monks dude what the fuck <laughs> yeah monks um but yes elrebrin not only uh, that you're a floating flying <laughs> turtle monk <laughs> so there's like townspeople like probably seen like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I, wow, that was good I knew the goblins there. were attacking there's a really fat round goblin though. <laughs> <laughs> so get that shoot that thing down <laughs> what are we doing uh, Brett? So it doesn't look like I can go behind them and still make it on the roof. So I'm uh, going to go out this door. And then I guess I have to jump onto the roof. Uh, yeah, there's the there's the crate there. So you'd be able to like step, step onto the uh, roof. Yep. Um, each of those steps would be double movement. So if you've gone 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 35. So that's you where I have, have 35 stop. movement. Yeah, so you'd be able to get right there. Fuck you. Yeah. All right. And then that's my movement. I will. I'm at range because I have to use in five feet of that. So I will pull out my longbow. Okay. And take a shot at. Uh, which one do I hate more? The one with the swords. Mm, okay, you take a shot at the one with the sword. Um, mm. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll to hit. Oh shit, eleven. Oh, Pl plus eleven. Any, or is that it? That's pure eleven. Five plus six. It was not a good roll. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, that that goes. Uh, you you draw the shot and let loose, and this goblin with his with his blade glowing with energy, kind of like strikes up and blocks it before sneering at you and saying something to you that you could only imagine was an insult in the goblin tongue little shit <laughs> um and then he's gonna actually take his movement to step down uh closer to you and go and try to strike at you um with its psychic blade so uh, its first roll is going to be a 19 to hit. Does that hit you? I think uh, so. I'm, f I'm 14 AC. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second one is a 19. And then the third one is a 14. Whoa. Meets it, beats it, so all three hit. Oh, you're about to get fucked up. I'm about to get so... wrecked. <laughs> Hey, maybe we perfect, don't need to kill him. Perfect timing for me to come <laughs> in and finish the job. Guys, is it too late to leave? <laughs> okay, with all three of those slashes, you're going to take 35 points of damage. Oh, oh wait. Shit. What? <laughs> you're almost dead. You, you know, we've been joking, but I think you could actually... <laughs> you could, I mean... Death saves. Let's get to that. Four minutes into this. Uh, okay. 
I adjust that? Yeah. You said 35? Yeah. 4 HP. Make sure that this is updating as we want it to. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Yeah, so, uh, goblins, goblins can be scary. <laughs> Um, and now it is the next it's goblin's turn. Um, the next goblin is going to take a step forward and go to Spartan kick you off the roof as well. <laughs> Dude, the, the kick itself might kill you. <laughs> Jesus. I hope he kicks it hard enough to hit Durgle. He can bounce That's off Durgle. <laughs> oh, 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 my no. God. Oh, no. <laughs> um, do I have any saving throws? <laughs> I Dude, that's, gonna, that's gonna do four points of damage um, <sighs> as it so kicks just you off. Kicks your unconscious body off the roof. So you're gonna drop down, we'll say there, um, in a state of unconsciousness. Well oh, shit. Can, probably... can I can I use the ability of my armor to I'm reading this right. Because of wind wall spell. I'm confused. Re read it out loud for the class. While wearing this armor, you have advantage on de dexterity checks and dexterity saving throws as your movements are bolstered by gentle currents of wind. So, like, could I dodge that? No, unfortunately not. Especially not with a nat 20. Yeah, um, you're pretty dead to rights there. All right, that was That was Rip. pretty fucking brutal. Um, so, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, and then with its Worst bonus ever. action, Durgle, can I have you make a strength saving throw for me? Sure thing. Strength saving throw. Ooh, interesting. It's an eight plus four. Twelve. Okay. So with that with that twelve, um, after this Spartan kick, um, this goblin continues forward with a with a punch just in front of it, but the green energy from its hand continues to move forward towards you Ooh. and kind of um, create a, a forceful buffet as it hits you. Um, because of your failure for that, uh, for that strength saving throw, you now have the prone condition. Um, so for this, it's going to be... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Only movement option is to crawl. So it's just going to push you back five feet because you can't actually go prone you're kind right. of getting getting buffeted uh and with that it's going to be Scrit's turn and Durgle, you're on deck um so is there a way i can scrabble up this chimney uh, uh, yeah wow. definitely <laughs> um, climb on up if you, just if you want to i'm a small boy a, you are you are in I'm fact small. a very small boy um yes. go ahead and make an athletics check for me so and I was, I'm was i looking be... at, um, let me just double check this real quick. I'll ask you. So you said athletics? See, am I yeah. proficient in that? Where am I at? Athletics no, for you is a plus zero. Ac acrobatics. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. sorry. Acrobatics is a plus seven. Oh, which one am I doing? That's what I was going to ask. Uh, acrobatics. Okay, so what I have, does this work? Let me Let me get this back up here was this an action the kenku recall where i can give myself advantage on a skill check prior to rolling it i can do it three times per long rest and in a, in a um, something i'm proficient in yeah That's you're, you're proficient in acrobatics so you could yeah, do that i'm gonna do it give myself advantage so you've got a plus seven on your roll and you've given yourself advantage correct sir and if you don't make it up this that's just yeah. fucked <laughs> Two all right that ones Oh no! I I'm, I got a eighteen, so plus twenty five. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> with with absolute ease, um, you know, you're almost able to like duck down and run into the chimney, and then use like <laughs> just like Super run Mario. Up <laughs> yeah, you, oh, okay. I see. Yeah, you hear the, yeah. the warp pipe sound? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm up yeah, at so the top of the. Yeah, you're now. It would be up on the top. Behind okay. where these two so how are. much movement would that have you uh, used for me? 
Hmm. Well, the building is 20 um, feet off the ground, right? It says 20 feet, so that would have been, and I'm sure when that's, I'd say that'd be my movement. I'd say probably, when, right? you, when you get to the top, you can have five extra feet. Well, okay, well, for what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my short bow. Okay. And take a shot at the one that he had punched already, the one that looks like he's, he's okay. taking a few hits. I'm going to yeah, punch yeah, that yeah. boy. You can or shoot that him. So... I rolled it. What is it? So that's going to be. Oh, shit. Scary. I rolled a 12. Five plus seven. So I missed him. Yeah. That will unfortunately not okay. hit. So I then am going to. Uh, dash my way down. Oh, wait, that's right. I can move this. So I dash gives me 30, uh, 30 movement again, right? 30 feet uh it's a bonus action dash yeah it gives yep. you your movement again so you would have yep. another 30 feet so what are the oh you can't see my cursor what are those things to are those like barrels right by the chimney um oh it's about talking the about left. these yes there you go oh that's right there's a cursor i could use that huh yeah that right there <laughs> so that stuff it's the teardrop shape um yeah so those that's just a stack of barrels um that'd be like okay. 10 feet down from the roof where you well, are yeah, yeah can i jump down to there yeah easily so boom boom and then that would be what that'd be five that'd be you said that was um, 10 so 15 yes you've still got 20 feet 20 so that i'll call it good there okay so with that uh elrebrin it is your turn so yeah, i did uh, you gotta roll it. No, so, so what you need to um, remove the four HP that your character sheet shows that you have, and that will put you into death saving throws territory. Oh Ooh. no, it's happening! Don't roll a one. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know, death saving throws. It's you're gonna roll a flat d twenty, and if it is ten or higher, then it's a success. If it is nine or below, it is a failure. If you roll a one, then that's immediately two failures. If you roll a nat 20, you're immediately stabilized with one HP. Come on. Um, so Sorry, go ahead and roll 1D a D20. 20. Okay. 13. There you go. 13. Okay, okay well, that's so that's a, a success. All right. hope, you better hope they don't come down and start like wailing on you. Oh, that's cool. The UI chain. Oh, that's oh yeah. That's, that's pretty neat. cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is That's yeah, ladies and gentlemen, D and D Beyond. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pretty <laughs> rad. D and D in the twenty first century, baby. Yeah, this ain't Did your you... your grandpa's D and D. Mark, mark one of yours is success, right? Oh. There it is. Okay. Awesome. So that everyone All can. Right. Keep up to date with whether you're about to fucking die or not. <laughs> yeah. oh, this is a great time to mention that um, uh, giving your uh, giving yourself a potion is a bonus action, but giving someone else a potion is an action. Okay. So I also have a cure wounds ability. Well, yeah, but you're unconscious. Yeah, at the moment you cannot do that. <laughs> um, I have so two potions, but I kind of got those for me, so. <laughs> All that goblin has to do is kick you, and you're done, son. No, so he's he's off the. He's I, off I, the I, there's a reason I stepped a little bit away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is now the. He's gonna drop down on you with the chair. It is now the side commander's turn, um, and well, he's actually name. going to. Yeah, goblin side <laughs> commander. Yeah. Uh, this is the one with the swords. Yeah, the two um, swords. He's going to go ahead and... Because they're uh, still floating up in the air, right? You're still, like, above the roof in yeah, terms like, of I'm height. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, this guy's going to move a bit further away. Looking at Durgle, and he's going to throw a psychic blade at him. Whoa. Oh, shit. Uh, um, first one is 19 to hit. My AC is 18. Bummer. Okay. Uh, second one was a natural one. Nice. And then the third one is a natural 20. <laughs> Elastic. Oh man. Oh okay. no. Well, see you guys. It was nice knowing you. I'm gonna go find another party. 
that. <laughs> so the the total is going to take twenty five points of damage. Yeah, all right, all right. you're still yeah, all right. still around. Let's see, see if I can still do some still do some shit. That would be what thirteen now, right? Yeah, you're thirteen. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> if you if you click on the HP in D and D Beyond, Use it'll pop out a thing that you can just yeah minus. Yeah, look, I, I want to at least feel good about my mental math though. Yeah. So I, okay. okay, I did it in my head. <laughs> Um, and then this other goblin is going to start moving back as well um, and kind of like poke his head down a little bit. Uh, Wait, when does Durgle go? I thought he went before them. Uh, did you not go? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, well, go ahead and take your turn now, Durgle. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll just make sure. I was like, Wait, I thought he went before them last, last time. Are their turns done? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, but, but, but. Hmm. So I'm debating if it's worth trying to chase him down, or this is like one of those regroup moments for us. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to fly downward to like hover above the mm -hmm. ground. That's like about 20 feet of movement. Uh, yeah. And then it's, is it an action to help El Elverbin? Elverbrin it's an action up? to feed a potion, correct. But can you just help him up, or do you have to feed him a potion? You could stabilize him with a medicine check. Oh, what's my medicine check? Plus two. That's Plus fine. two. Mm. Uh, sure, we'll Contract. try it. You can I'll drop everybody. Okay. Sheet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can stabilize them. Medicine. It's a sixteen plus two. Yeah, he's he's definitely stabilized. So All right. he's still unconscious. Um, you can you can put yourself to uh, to one HP, right? Yeah. And then you've still got twenty. Uh, you've still got twenty movement, Durgle. Okay. Uh, and I looked at Scrit and say, "You want to chase them down, or how are you feeling, buddy?" I mean, they're a lead. They're a lead that yeah. that fucked us up a little here. <laughs> they did. But are we gonna let them loose onto the town? We're kind of already like, you know. I guess so. Hmm. Okay. And then. Um, I'm going to like, I'm still hovering over the ground. I want to move up to like, to be hugging the wall of the, the tavern, you know? So it's like mm -hmm. a little away from them or like covered court sort of. And I will drink a potion of healing, which, okay. um, how, how do you do that in this? You just click it and it. And uh, it just... If you click it, it should tell you like which, uh, like what, yeah, what to roll, and then you just remove it yeah. from your inventory. Okay, 2d4 plus 2. So that's 3. And 3 plus 2, so that's 8 HP. Okay, you can regain 8 HP. There we go, and then I get rid of it. And that, I think, is my turn. Okay. Then, Skrit, it is your turn, and Durgle, you're on deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Small turn order. <laughs> yep. Um. Whew. All right. So I'm going to. I also have some fancy boots. Here. Oh fuck. Where are they at? There we go. Let's go to check what they do. Uh. Well, I wear these. I can use the bonus action to click the heels together. It doubles my walking speed, so I make it sixty from thirty. Okay. The last ten minutes. That's a bonus action. Well, actually, I can end them, so so I'll do a ten. Yeah, it's a bonus action, so it's basically a dash right now. But it'll last me future turns also if I want okay. to. I should have done it yeah. last time. Um, we've now got sixty feet of movement. Sixty feet of movement. Where are we going? Let me get back to the screen. There we go. Uh, so <clears throat> I climb on those barrels and get back on the roof. If I wanted to correct. Uh, yeah. So that, but it's so that's five, uh, and that's about... ten and ten to get up, right? So it'd be twenty to get up, essentially, twenty-five. Yeah. I mean, yep. So five, fifteen, twenty-five, right? Correct. Get on the corner, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. All right. So now I'm level with them. Correct. I'm gonna shoot again mm. at the one that was punched. Okay. The one directly across with the psychic the, blades. The one that's got the goblin face on it. Isn't he the one that he was yeah, punching? The, that's the one that got punched. Yeah. <clears throat> All 
right? Because wasn't it the it was not the swordy guy? It was the other guy that was he was wailing on. Uh, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Come on. Don't fail me now. Ooh. Got eighteen. Okay, eighteen definitely hits. Yay. All right. Now I didn't look. At, I did not anticipate hitting. What do I roll? One d six. Okay. Roll a one, so five. Five damage. Okay. And it takes five points of damage. All right. Not not what I was hoping for. <laughs> so I have he's, oh he's starting to look more hurt. Not incredibly starting hurt. To, but... Oh Jesus. <laughs> uh I think I what was I, I used thirty five movement, is that right? I think. So Five, fifteen, twenty. All right, I'll stick it right there. That's where I'm at. Mm. Done. All right. Um, with that, now it is Durgle's turn in the correct order, and okay. then Elrobrin <laughs> is on deck. Hey, Elrobrin, do you have healing potions of your own? I have two and a uh, healing ability. Okay, cool. Then I'm I'm gonna leave you. I, it's <laughs> it's hitting me. Maybe we we should have had a cleric, but you know what? We're here. <laughs> we're in it. We're with it. Uh, we can't change who we are. DPS, baby. Yeah, we are who we are. Mm. Dead per second. Yeah, <laughs> for me. For yeah, one death well, per we're second. We're almost at one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Remind me, how does falling work? Like, uh, if if they were to fall twenty feet, isn't it like one d something per ten feet of falling? Yeah, it's one d six per ten feet. Okay. Not bad. So if you were able to like huck one of them off and it hit the ground it could it would take two d6 damage gotcha hmm because i can grapple um as a bug when i hit a creature with unarmed strike i can use a bonus action to attempt to grapple the target i'm debating okay. if that's more worth or if i should just punch it four times again <laughs> i think probably the punch yeah, because you can you can do more than two d six. Yeah, with your punches, I would do the punch room. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna uh, fly up to the one. Uh, I don't know, but the sword one, he was doing a lot of fucking damage, way more than he the punch. Three boy, fucking right? attacks. Yeah, I mean, he he took out like both of us uh, with Flurry his attack. blows, and we haven't hit him yet, have we? Not the sword guy. Okay. Um, I'm going to go up. I'm going to fly up 20 feet again because I was on the ground, right? That's 20 feet. Mm -hmm. and 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, wait, shit. I can't even reach him, right? Or, well, diagonal. Right? What does this look like? Yeah. You'd have to be, yeah. Oh, so I could get to them with 20 feet. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Well, you're using, like, the, the proper... Uh, you'd be able to do 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, you can get there, no problem. Okay. Yeah, you can get to here with 20 feet of movement. All right, and then would I be able to punch the this uh, the guy? You can punch either. With? That one there. Yep. Cool. Then totally. I will do that, and I'm going to punch him a total of four times by using a key point. Okay, well, let's go with the first two attacks first. Maybe they'll sure. kill him. Maybe you'll finish my off. Okay, we'll do the first two. That's okay, a nine. Well, nine plus seven, 16. That hits. That hits. All right. And then 1d6 plus four, five plus four, nine. Okay. So with that nine damage, you do you do take this guy out. With the, Ooh, with the swift punch, nice. you knock him out, and he he drops. As he drops, though this this energy in his fists you know as it was cloaking his fists quite uh quite uh neatly and you know it looked like it was a focused energy it begins to pulse and get larger and consume his body um and then just like a shock wave of this green energy goes out so i'm gonna have to ask you to make an intelligent saving throw and then the other oh. goblin is also going to have to make an intelligence saving throw. Dude, I'm oh. dumb as shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is intelligence? a It's a minus <laughs> one. So that is a total of three because I rolled a four. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. no, I don't know what I'm doing up here, guys. <laughs> I just so punched the, up. 
the goblin with the sword manages to to raise his blade up and defend and protect himself, but um, you will take seven points of psychic damage um, as this goblin uh, lets off this mental burst and dies. Yeah. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Goblins OP? A little bit. It's, it's the psychic these are, energy. These are the special new goblins that are introduced in this campaign. Mm. The, the Psy Goblins. Oh. So This is the Psy first God. time I'm seeing them in action as well. And they hey. fucking hurt. Apparently. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, one attack action, that was what, 25 damage? Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, well, can make three sword attacks. Well, no, that was 35 wow. to, to Elderbridge. Yeah, 35, 35, 35 the first time. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I would have um, killed you outright. Well, Durgle, you've still got one more punch out of your That's regular true. action, and then if you yeah. want, you can flurry of blows as well. Yeah, yeah, and then if I flurry of blows, right, that gives me the disengage and ten more movement. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you could back up some. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do another flurry of blows. That's a key well, you got, point. I thought he's got one punch and then flurry of blows, right? Is what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's that's got, right. yeah. You've got one yeah. more regular punch, so go ahead and roll the hit. We'll yeah. do the regular punch. So 14 plus, uh, what was that, 7? That's yep, going to so hit. 21. Okay. 1d4 or 1d6. That's a 6 plus 4. Okay, there 10 points of damage. 10 points, all okay, right. punch. Excellent. And now we're going to do two more punches. Go okay, for it. go ahead and set up the flurry of blows. Key points, all right. That's 12 plus 7, 19. 19 hits. Uh, 8 damage. Okay, takes eight then, points of damage. Damn. The other one, that is a nine plus seven, 16. That hits, just hits. Meets oh, it, beats just it. Shit. Just hits. That's two plus four, six. Okay. That's pretty Fuck good. Yeah, that was a great yeah. turn. Yeah. All right, and then I, I'm disengaged. I move back to, to that way. And uh, Excellent. That was a good one. Yep. <laughs> okay, good so... Work. Uh, now that your turn is over, Elrebrin, it's your turn. What are we doing? All right, so in theory, I could stay on the ground and shoot up at that dude. Um, uh, yep. It'd be a hard shot, wasn't it? 150 range. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And I to, also to, have Hunter's To get up off the ground, condition. you're going to do uh, 15 of movement. It'll be uh, half of your movement, and everyone has fucking broken movement. So... Uh, it's still 15. So you've got 20 feet of movement left after standing up. And then uh, you can you can totally take some shots at him. Mm. I'll pull back here. Uh, Whoa. Oh, yeah, he's dead. That's right. Yeah. Took him away. His body is sliding down the slope. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I did have, it loot it. One Fuck. action and one bonus action, right? Correct. Since I'm going to get a little ballsy and assume he can't hit me, um, mm. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. Which gives me an additional 1d6 whenever I hit with a weapon attack. All right. That uses one of my four casts, I guess. And then I will shoot my longbow at him. Okay, go ahead, roll to hit. Fuck me, dude. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> what's your what's your to what's your plus to hit? Six? Isn't it like seven Six. or something? So Six. you okay. so you rolled a three? <laughs> Are you rolling a D20 or a D6? Uh, D20. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Well, I missed again. <laughs> Motherfucker's just gonna jump down from the roof and be like. If it wasn't a one, you probably would have hit Durgle and fucking domed him. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, shit. The only guy dealing damage. <laughs> the only worthwhile fucking dude we have. <laughs> I should have just named him Goku, man. Yeah. Monks are fucking broken, dude. Yeah. Monks are monks are pretty fucking wild. Yeah. Uh, so we're now we're now getting to the the Goblin side commander's turn. Um and uh -oh. he's going to he's going to look down at his fallen brethren um 
crouch down oh, and then um you can you can hear him say in common Durgle, um you know uh uh, uh zorzula zorzula protect you um before he he gets zorzula. up and turns around and leaps off the building down to the other building five ten And then he's going to leap over there and then make it to oh. here as well, he begins to right. to leg it. Um, right. So as he's still on the map, uh, Script, it's your turn. And then Durgle, you're on deck. Okay, and then on the, on the video feed, just FYI, he is oh, off yeah. the screen. He's on top of a, a oh. building that's like kind of across the way. Um, I'll, I'll move into frame if you yeah, care okay, of that. Yeah. So I still have the 60 movement for my boots. Um... Let me see, what's the range? Yeah, you still got it. Oh, one thing I keep, like, I was fucking up. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a rogue. So I can take a hide action, right? So I, so, so I can get sneak attack damage, right? Correct. So if I were, does it work like this? Because I just make sure, if I were to hide now and then run out in the open and then shoot him, would that be a sneak attack damage? Or do I have to do it from, like, this corner? Well, or what's, hide behind? What's the, what's the range that you have? Uh, on your because you have like a bow or something it's 80 feet so it's a good i mean okay so i mean you can you, you pop up on the roof here. you could get hide here behind the crate hide behind the crate to okay. your hide and then I'm take a that. shot over to him i'm doing it okay so go Shoot ahead him. all right boys all right come on Better hit you, son of a bitch. Nope. I got got an eleven. Roll a four. <laughs> okay. Roll a four. Yeah. So he doesn't pay attention and like, you know, kind of like ducks out of the way as this as this arrow goes wide. Um, but he's okay. still not aware of your location as he's he's fully turned around and heading off. Yeah. Ooh, should I mark off two arrows out of my inventory? Right. You can yeah, probably should be. <laughs> Um, with that, now it is Durgle's turn, and Elrebrin, you're on deck. Uh, mm. Okay, so that's 50 feet. That's just far out of my range. Uh, I don't know. This is, this is a tough one. Um, can I yell at him? Can Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You can start a conversation. I'm gonna ask, hey, what's Zorzula? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see, did say his intelligence is pretty low, so. Zorzula <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, is our master. Oh. Don't, 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 don't tread. Kill. Don't tread. Don't tread. Well, you mm. were treading on this roof. Why were you on this roof? Were you here all night? <laughs> Needed to retrieve purse. Purse. What purse? Uh, this is this is the one that had like the the sack over its back. Oh, I forgot um, about that. And you know, with the idea that that you guys followed a trail of coins. Yeah. Um, there's there is you know you might even see like a, a glint of of. A uh, silver or copper coin poking out of the bottom of the fabric of the bag. Mm. Got it. Uh, mm. I'll also ask: Were you the one who destroyed this bar? No. D mm, and then I you? point to the dead one. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> Was it this guy? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's just gonna not respond to that question. Uh, oh, that that means yes. That means yes. That's fair enough. <laughs> hmm. Because we haven't hit this one yet, right? Like I don't think any of us have registered. A you punched hit. him. Did, yeah, oh yeah, I did. You did a good yeah. amount to him. You did a <laughs> yeah. decent amount. You've yeah. done twenty-eight damage to. Yeah, like you were. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. You can't get to him. I probably can't now. Uh, 
and he has like that ability with the sword where he can like shoot out his blade, right? It's like the psychic range. stuff. Your movement is yeah. 40 feet, correct? It's 40, and I'm debating yeah. doing a dash One, to double two, it. 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You can get right to him. I can't? Ooh. I mean, the, yeah. this thing doesn't, says... Doesn't he have to rec... Oh, no, he's flying, so the, the yeah, plus I mean, 10 you, feet doesn't matter. You don't need to use the the that length tool that's just a straight just, line right yeah you just count squares each block is five feet so it's five oh. ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty i gotcha mm. okay i'm gonna i'm gonna do that i'm gonna run right up to him okay oh, dude, just flying through the air yeah Leroy. uh like lad, dude okay and if i hit him I, I, how how's he looking is he looking rough or he's, fine he's on on a scale of zero to 200 he's at about 104 interesting okay um <laughs> hmm he's extremely right. detailed <laughs> okay i'm gonna i'm gonna attack him twice with my, with my two free attacks or okay like my two go ahead and roll action, the hit yeah. okay roll to hit that was a six plus seven 13 that does not hit okay uh I well, a 13 plus 7, 20. That definitely hits. Okay, and that is a 1 plus 4, 5 damage. <laughs> you do 5 points of damage as you as you go in for another attack. Okay, and then I'm going to use Tavern Brawler Grapple. Um, so when I hit a creature with an unarmed strike or improvised weapon, I can use a bonus action to attempt to grapple the target. Yeah. Okay, so is that a contested strength? I think it's a contested strength check, right? Uh, let me. You better hope this is one weak boy. Hard. I I mean I've got nineteen. Are you strong? Strengths. Oh I've got shit! 19. It's yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm hoping this will uh, this will work. Well, we'll see. Because uh, it's it's been a while since I've done a grapple in D and D, but I, I think it's like a straight up and yeah, down. Yeah, it, it should strength. just be a, a contested strength check. So yeah, you'll roll strength, and it will roll strength, and then whoever has the higher. Okay, that was a fifteen plus four, nineteen. Oh, it got sixteen plus one, seventeen. Hey, hey all so right. He's now grappled. Okay, I um, grapple. So his movement is now zero. But he can still attack you in this in this state. Mm, okay. Um, grapple speed becomes zero. Uh, condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. Uh, yeah. So he, he just his zero, speed is zero, but he can still attack. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's fucked He's up. Not, uh, yeah, grapple is weird. Have another action to chuck him off the roof. I don't have any other action. I was kind of hoping oh. it'd be like a full Nelson, and he'd just be kind of. You know, kind of. <laughs> it just stops his movement, right? Yeah, oh, that's, he can still that's turn a... around, and fuck you up. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm nope. in it now. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any more movement or action, so um, that's the thing. Okay. Um, Elrebrin, it's your turn, and then it's the side commander's turn. <laughs> you better better make this shot work out. <laughs> yeah, I was going to climb on the roof next to me. Yeah, you could. 20. Uh, somewhere in range here should be fine. It's like 25 okay. ish. Um, my mark is still active. Yep. So go ahead and roll um, to hit and try to roll higher than a three. <laughs> 13 plus six, 19. There it is. That is. Okay. That's so then I get a. a D8 plus 3, and then an additional 1D6. So uh, I'll roll the D8 first. Uh, 1D8 plus 3, 8 plus 3, 11. Okay, he takes 11 points of damage, and then he'll take Hunter's Mark damage as well. Yeah, roll that D6. Six. Roll. An additional 3. Okay. <laughs> This guy is looking extremely hurt. I'm thinking um, that you were, he was hoping you rolled a four and you didn't. 
Is he like as, one as, HP? Like, <laughs> I get the feeling as, as Elrebrin has brought this creature down to one HP. <laughs> oh no! It is now its turn. Oh, Durgle. <laughs> can, can, can I speak as a free action? <laughs> Not in what's not your turn. <laughs> Damn it. Um, it's the goblin side commander is going to look at you, Durgal, and say, if if you let me go, then Zorzula may bless you too. And Ooh. it's going to cost charm person. Oh. Uh, so can I have you make a wisdom saving throw for me? Okay. You wisdomous. Negative. Hey, that's a nat one, so I'm charmed, baby. <laughs> oh, Let's go. Okay. Yeah, so you're charmed. Oh, Dirtles in love. Yeah, you're you're charmed. Um, you know, you now see this creature as a friendly acquaintance. Uh that means that you can't attack it or target it with a harmful ability. Um and I guess it also has advantage on ability checks to interact socially with you, but that doesn't matter because it's a it's a goblin. Now here's a question: is, um, is is a grapple inherently harmful? It's kind of just like a hug. <laughs> Bless you. You're yeah, uh, technically it, it he, is he very really much loves him. like a hug. Um, but he's gonna he's gonna start talking to you about how how great it would be if you just let him go you know like a like a good friend like a chum would that's right buddy hugs I don't guess, last forever and i say i guess that what that's what zorzula would do and, <laughs> <laughs> and i let him go oh that's sweet okay so you you <laughs> well you would only be able to let him go on your turn um, oh, and well, so we'll right, have right, yeah. scrit's turn before that oh no so you just gotta hit him once your turn so i got a question for you how this yeah. works so i think i have got a so i've got the short bow but i've also got the rapier and dagger also so yeah. i have one in each hand is that two attack how's two weapons work how does that go so you can you can everyone can attack with their offhand yeah if you want to have a rapier and a dagger out it would just be that like when you swing with your rapier as your primary attack, you do yeah. a d20 plus your two attack bonus. But when you're attacking with your offhand, it's just the d20 roll. For when you're rolling to hit? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, that is two temps. One not so good, though. But can you? Oh yeah, you have the dash, right? So you. Can't I can get him. there. I already yeah. did the thing. I can get to him. I can get just to him because I have sixty movement right now. I mean, gotta go for broke, right? Fuck it. Let me just double check. So five, ten, fifteen, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Oh, sorry. It's, you you don't. You don't add the ability modifier to the damage of the bonus attack. So oh, so it still gets do, the plus whatever to hit. Yeah, still it still gets the plus oh. whatever to hit. It just we're, won't do. We're as taking much two with swings, buddy. We're taking two. also because your dagger has the thrown property. You can also. That's, I knew I could throw it. But throw the dagger. Yeah. I think I want to take two swings. <laughs> okay. Give myself multiple because since we know he's pretty fucked two, up. Two little two things. All right. Um, we'll do well, the. Did you use all of your movement to get there, or do you have five I did. more movement? Oh, okay. Um. Shit, I did just count it out. I think it was all of it. Yes, it's uh, 55. 5, 10, 15, 15 20, 25, 30, 35, 45, 50, 50, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I was pretty sure I used all of it. I'm going to see whether you can get into flanking. Uh, oh, so how does that work? So flanking is just it? if... Yeah, if, if you are on the there. opposite side of something from an ally, okay. then you get... Uh, advantage on the attack okay well i kind of feel like i have advantage with two hits you've got two swings here please please first roll to hit first roll 21 21 hits 14 plus 7 well there you we don't go. even need to roll damage oh, yeah, so i don't need to roll damage to, you can go yeah ahead. why not fuck it why not? why not have fun with it see what what is it a d8 oh shit oh shit where's that at there it is let's just see how negative he goes it's what three plus four seven okay so 
<clears throat> as you as you lunge at this goblin with your rapier, uh, how how does it die? Describe how does the it scene. Die? Oh, Skrit does not uh, take pleasure in killing. He just straight to the heart. Just, right just in. jab in and out. Stab, dead, drop. Okay. And then he looks over at Durgle and just like, hmm? I say, no, he was my best <laughs> friend. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Urgle just looks on in horror. Yeah. Zorzula, help us! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so with that, we are now out of initiative and back Oops. to the scene. You know, you've, <sighs> you've taken out these psi goblins and have this, and it's uh, you have a few moments to look around to, to Can I, take a look uh, at the bodies search his body the the, the commander guy that i'm next to you mm -hmm. start rifling SD. use my beak to move some stuff around and <laughs> that's how it works go in there and i'll fly over and check the other one okay yeah so investigating you do you do find the oh, rest yeah. of the of the sack of coins nice um and from that you obtain uh 10 gold 14 silver and 17 uh copper okay but aside from that there's nothing else particularly of of note and there's nothing on the other guy no okay um i yell over hey is there anything weird with his swords so those were those were like swords made of psychic energy that like from oh. from in combat that you, where them. you saw when he threw his sword it like pierced and did damage but then uh like the the sword itself dissipated gotcha. so it's kind of he was like summoning and creating these swords with mental energy mm -hmm. oh gotcha. shit actually wait oh, oh. um dm do an oopsie should we all have died? <laughs> yeah. So, oh wait, actually, we're supposed to blow up. He's supposed to yeah, blow up <laughs> for the two of you that were within five feet. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. Everyone except for Elrabrin. Uh, can I have you make an intelligent saving yeah. throw? Yeah, let me see what mine. I think I have pretty good intelligence. Ooh. Let me double check. Uh, I rolled okay, a seventeen. Okay. What that? I rolled twelve. Okay, so a twelve is one under. <laughs> so, uh, you are going to take 12 points of psychic damage Damn. Um, Damn. as this, as this goblin explodes with, with mental energy. Jeez. Like, oh, like goblin. explodes. Is it, is there still a body or like, yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a mental shockwave out. Okay. Um, gotcha. you okay. don't take any damage cause you managed to, to make the save, which is good. Because mm -hmm. that would have brought me down to two. You would have been, yeah, yeah basically dead. <laughs> kind of like uh, old uh, Elrabrin over there. So mm -hmm. let's go back to the battle. This is this is the screen with which we are leaving combat. <laughs> uh, w when we fought two goblins. Just two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Only up from here, boys. You guys, there are two other leads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there'll be nothing over there worth yeah. noting. You hear a cheery voice calling out to you from the side of the tavern. Um, hello, hello, um, you you who are investigating, can you please uh, come down, please? Uh, can I carry the body of the goblin with me? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, make a strength check. Ooh, okay. Just for comedy's sake, to see how competently you're, you, with your small bird gonna, body. I got a five. Ooh. Oh no, six, sorry. Ah. Yeah, the, the text on the side point was really hard to see. Okay, okay, so with a six, you you just kick him off the roof. <laughs> you've you've got no you've that got feels, no that feels better to, anyway, just to the, the idea that you're here. gonna like carry or like make your way down from this roof. You just kind of like get get the goblin in like an opp opportune roll and just <laughs> and you just hear him hit the ground. Good. Um, and this this voice calling out. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, he's 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 unconscious. Okay, no worries. 
Oh, so just, whoops. Peeking, peeking out to find the source of this voice, um, you see a dwarven woman clad in blue robes uh, waving to you all. You notice that her forearms are marked with numerous tattoos of, of sigils drawn in white ink, uh, and slung across her back is a leather satchel brimming with books, scrolls, and, and other implements. Mm. Like, oh, are you, are you all the ones that the, that the town master hired to investigate? Who's asking? Yeah. Oh, uh, of course, of course. <laughs> My name is is Gwen, uh, Gwen Orsong. Um, I Where I'm also helping out the town master. I I don't quite have anything about me that um, that can help in a physical or attacking sense, but it it looks mm. like all of you have that handled. Uh, um, you weren't but, paying attention then, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, we got there. If, if you guys find any information about <clears throat> about where these goblins may be coming from, um, you know, uh, let let me know, and we can, you know, try to try to gather the information. I ask her, so, do you know, do you know what a Zorzula is? A Zorzula. Uh, where did you hear what type of cheese? Zorzula. <laughs> if one of the goblins said it. Yeah. Huh. That that sounds that does sound familiar. Um can I also have all of you roll a history check? Is that plus it's, intelligence, right? Well, or it's, just it's got plus your history. Thing. Look plus at the stat sheet. D, D20, oh, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I've given you the most powerful plus zero, tool. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Five. 13. I got a I got a ten. <sighs> <laughs> um, with, with the with the 13 and the 10 thinking about zorzula you do feel like you also heard it or or saw something about that prior to prior to uh hearing it from the goblin uh, yeah. but you can't quite place where so as another question those goblins that we uh dealt with before prior to this were they also all like have that psi energy or is this new to us too this is new new okay Noted. So yeah, these the, are different the, kind of the, goblins the previous goblins that you took down were part of the Cragmall goblins and um you know uh Elrebrin, with your knowledge and deep hatred of goblins yes. you would understand that you know Goblins have like their pack families that will have different species of the goblinoid family. It might be bugbears, hobgoblins, regular goblins. Hate them all. Um, yeah, <laughs> you just hate them. Um, but y you you have never heard of a <laughs> goblin with with psychic capabilities or or you know very impressive magical capabilities at all. Um, so what you have seen here is probably honestly why all of your shots kept going so wrong. You're just racking your mind thinking like something is, something is wrong here. Something is not right. This is, this is strange. Ooh. Um, but yeah, yeah, with that, with that information, you know, Gwyn pulls, uh, pulls towards her, her bag of scrolls and jots down, Zorzula that you've you've spoken of. It's like, okay, well, I'll, um, I can I can head back to the town's master's hall, um, and begin researching and see what what I can find to do with this. Um, oh, yeah. I think uh, the other two, I mean, if you head to the Shrine of Luck from here, it'll be on the way to to the well. So um, I'll I'll meet with you again after you've you've investigated the other crime scenes and we can we can see what can be done here did harbin ask you to investigate those three places as well here and the other two as well oh yes hmm. interesting that's that's why I, I knew to come here first that you know if i was going to be working with you and, and gathering information after everything was safe um yeah. then you know i i wanted to make sure that you were aware so how much money did he promise you uh, oh, I'm I'm in town visiting my my sister. Yeah. Um, she's the the bartender at the Stonehill Inn. Okay. Um, so I I just happen to be in the area, and I'm I'm quite interested myself in 
goblin history and culture you know i okay. I, wrote so, a, I wrote a thesis on goblins so why? this is this is all interesting for me so no money then uh no not for me okay yeah. we can we can ask for her cut too later <laughs> <laughs> Do you say that out loud, or are you trying no, to no. say that sneakily? No, I'm you're just, just nudging. You're not. Like, yeah, I, I whispered. Like I grabbing. whispered it. <laughs> That's so strange. Yeah. Squid. It looks like your eyes have dollar symbols in them. What's up with that? <laughs> what's a dollar symbol? What's a dollar? What's the, yeah, what's a dollar, dollar symbol? symbol. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Out right in this world. Okay, I, I guess you realized well, that I, there were a bunch of additional traits I have that I could have used. Mm, well, Oops, live nice. and learn so for the next one. Well, thank well, you for, for your assistance. We are, uh, we can't wait to learn about Gorgonzola or whatever, <laughs> and see what's going on. Yeah, and hey, if if we do meet at the the Shrine of Luck, hopefully there aren't goblins there. Because I mean, yeah. you also have fists, so you might also be strong. But if you need help, let us know. That sounds wonderful. If, if, well, if, if I, I prefer to study goblins from afar. So if there are Ooh. goblins that happen to be near, nearby, then I'll probably just, you know, turn and head the other way or, or find a nice place to, to cower and be quiet. Fair. Gotcha. Um, okay. Great. Well, I think we're going to need to find a place for a short rest. So we're going to go. We need to lick our wounds. Yeah. Well, yeah. some of us, I don't. Well, I guess I kind of do. But... You kind of, we all do. <laughs> mentally i came away from that like a little like what the fuck but <laughs> uh, physically i'm okay right yeah for the for the purpose of flow of story you know sure. if we want to have a, a short rest take place as you you know munch on munch on a bit of snack food and kind of regain your bearings here um you know it'll just be a five ten minute short rest um and you can go ahead and uh, do the short quick, rest. Quick short rest. Um, and yeah, so you automatically can, you can apply the healing. If you if you check them, it should. So am I just just leaving the automatically apply healing with dice result, right? Just that. Uh, you click that, and then you would check the boxes of how many hit dice you want to use below, or you can oh. just use the uh, oh, reset maximum HP changes during this rest. Because it's a one shot. And we're as not going to worry possible, about that basically. too much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do that. All right. Ta da. Okay. Confirm. I think I did it. It didn't heal so. me, though. Yeah, it didn't heal me either. Oh, do you like. No. Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. You have to oh. click, the, you have to click the, the, the button with the dice. I didn't see that. <laughs> that didn't pop up for me. I don't have a button with the dice. Oh. Technical technical difficulties. Oh. Well, just just go ahead and and do do the dice roll for as many as you want. Add that to your health manually, and click the take the short rest button, and then that should reset sure. all abilities. Oh, I see. So once you've oh, yeah, had just a, did it. <laughs> once you've had a bit of a snack and begun to move, um, you there we go you continue along your way towards the shrine of luck um and the the site that greets you is not, not very as much a shrine of luck as a caved in place of luck um once a, a striking okay. cairn so of colorful rocks and offerings to timora this shrine now looks very precarious you can see that the, well, it's uh, like uh luke on the island dude <laughs> <It's> <laughs> very true <laughs> um you see that there are two figures standing here attempting to move some of the shrine's larger rocks you see a, an elf woman um wearing a a like ornamental like religious robes and a human girl no more than 10 years old howdy hello i, I <laughs> say, Hi, howdy. You're, a, you're a western turtle <laughs> is he still is he still hovering or turtle. flying <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> his, his boots of flying have stirrups on them <laughs> <laughs> and and they have yeah yeah exactly yeah, he's yeah. just like ching <laughs> i know but i i, I probably 
like at the end of the last uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So up. same, yeah. But, yeah. Oh. Um, hello there, fine sir. Are you are you visiting the town? I'm I'm ever so sorry. The the state of the shrine is this these damn these damn attacks that have been going on. Can you tell us more? We're we're trying to find out who did it. Well, I'm I'm only here uh, repairing it. I wasn't the one who who saw what happened. Mm. For that, you'd actually want to speak with my little helper here, uh, Tamara. I, I say, Tamara, I'm, what happened I'm, here? I'm not good with little ones. Go for it. <laughs> well, I I was here this morning with my mother, and we were gonna pray at the shrine like we always do. Um, but but when we got here, there were like three small people. They looked really silly um, that they had taken the big rock that was at the top um, and and it made all of the rest of it it fall down. Um, and Ooh. we couldn't worship tomorrow this morning. Do you know where they took the rock? Uh, I, they, hmm, I think they headed off in that direction and she kind of points off like a bit past the, the shrine towards a few other buildings. Um, but I, I don't, I don't know. Is, is everything okay? Uh, Everything's yeah, fine. Just, you know, that rock is missing. We need to find the rock, you know, it's an important rock. Oh. Oh, I, I mean, I knew that this was an important place. What made the rock so special? Honestly, I don't know. Oh. It might have know been you don't really know much, do you, mister? Um, I'd say, same could be said to you, Hal. You don't know okay. anything. <laughs> um, Where's your mom? You... Where, did you oh, come I'm... with your mom? Yeah, I, I came here with my my mom, um, but she had to go and help uh, and help my dad open up the inn for the day. Okay. The Stonehill Inn. Yeah. Oh. 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 All right. Well, okay. I think we got all we need out of her. She's got nuts. She's kind of useless. So let's go see your mom. <laughs> Just turns around, oh. walks away. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm walk. I'm already out. No. I just say uh, thanks. Um, I don't know. Should we go to the end, or should we like walk over to the to where we where... should? I want to. I want to investigate the shrine. Just take a look around. Okay. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll investigation for me. Sure, sir. Oops, I rolled it on my keyboard. <laughs> Whoops. Oh fuck. Where is my investigation now? I got an eight. Not okay. good. Not very good. I mean, you you look around. You don't really want to get too deep into the rubble. Um, you probably think that if you start moving stuff around, there'll probably be an expectation that you you help them reshape and rebuild. Which absolutely. So you're just do like not want to do that. Peeking in. Um, there's there's nothing immediately off the cuff that uh that you know that gather that gets your attention as to uh, something else important here other than the religious iconography and the and the rocks. Okay. There's just some rocks here, guys. Yeah. Uh, kind of a shit shrine. And then I <laughs> you say out. that out loud? Yeah. All right. And I walk out. <laughs> See, like, Sister, Sister Grail <laughs> will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, finding nothing, uh, not wanting to get too involved. You all continue on your way. Um, are you planning to to head to the inn or continue on to the well? I think we should go talk to the mom. Uh, okay. She was there too. Maybe she yep. saw some more. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you you make your way over to the Stonehill Inn. This is you know the inn that you've normally spent your time with. Um, here to the so point we may have you, met the mom before. Yeah, you do actually know uh, Trelina, the uh, the mother. Um, 
Okay. When you first get in there, you see Toblin, the uh, innkeeper, standing behind the bar, um, speaking with customers, organizing rooms, um, and getting breakfast orders. Or like, no, what time of day are we saying this is? I feel like lunch orders. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Lunch time. Um, but you're able to see Trelina. She's she's bussing some some stuff in, uh, from the tables back into the kitchen. Uh, kitchen space and you're able to flag her down mm. say hey can we get a moment of your time oh of course a uh, table for three yes uh, sh okay. sure you think, oh, um, feel free to sit down wherever wherever you uh like wherever you see space uh, and i'll be with you in a moment with waters and a menu and she kind of walks away perfect cool, cool. is, is right. she gonna show up with like a humongous thing of water for him because she knows <laughs> <laughs> how this goes it's just a different place right uh, yeah <laughs> well yeah but we've been staying here apparently she knows uh, it's true <laughs> would you um would you like a regular seat or do you want me to get out your your large tub that you normally <laughs> enjoy water in if it's not too much trouble please <laughs> oh of course of course um toblin i need your help um and you go over and take a seat in the corner um before before Trulina shows up, takes away one of the extra chairs and brings over what I can only describe as like, you know those, you know those like half clamshell kiddie pools? Yeah. yeah. Um she yeah. she brings over something something similar in size of that, but uh you know made out of wood um and sets it down. Um and then you know without without really saying much, you know, leaves to go and get a couple pails of water. Um, and then, like a little like ladle that that she knows that you you use to ladle yeah, water yeah, onto your you back as you yourself sit there, as you're right? in the splashing around in your fucking her kiddie pool. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Very hey, good. I mean, in a in a this high is... fantasy world where anything can kind of happen. It's true. Um, you know, you look around the tables, and there's the regular mix of denizens of of uh orcs and humans and the the variety of elves there's a table of like an aracocra and uh and a furbolg having a discussion you know the furbolg is like very slowly chewing on cud while uh while the aracocra is like woody woodpecker styling into um, a, a acme mound of of fucking bird seed <laughs> kind of situation. <laughs> it's very, uh, it's a varied uh, little place we got here. Very diverse. Yeah, yeah it's on the uh, you know on the tribal trail, big big trade town. Yeah. Um, so once once she has you all set up with much cleaner water, um, you've got your kiddie pool filled up and are sitting happily. Um. Uh, yeah, so um, you you needed me for something? Yeah, we we ran into your kid out by the Shrine of Luck. Yeah, didn't know anything. Oh, Not very are helpful. they are they still working? To well, she is ten. You know, we try to <laughs> well, try I mean, to ten. I was doing. I was pretty proficient at ten. Oh, there, okay. I mean, I think I, I, humans develop a lot slower. Um, I know that. Ooh. I know that for. Kenku, you know, once you guys manage to get your grasp on on language at a young age, um, that you're off, you know, out and about. But um, uh -oh. you know, it's just she's anyway, ten. She'll get yeah. better. So you were at the shrine and saw something happen. I understand. Um, uh, yeah. So I mean, we when we arrived, um, I'll be honest. Tamara saw more of it than I did. Uh, but th there were th there were three shadowy looking figures that that ran away um, and kind of we had heard a loud crash as we were approaching. Um, and it seemed like between these three figures, two of them were carrying this large, large um, cornerstone, um, something that, you know, I'd definitely seen many times when we had been praying to Tamora. Um, I, I can't imagine why they would want to take a, a stone. Anything she special said, about this She saw them stone? run off somewhere. Uh, yeah. You know what uh, buildings those were? Um, yes, they, they ran off to the north 
Um, I should be able to. Is he pulling um, up the map? Yeah, I wasn't sure that we would need this one, but I guess we do. <laughs> well, Fandolin Alleys. Fandolin Alleys. I say, well, you know, where the where everything fell for the Lux Shrine, where you see in the lower left of this map, um, we saw them head off head off further north from here. Um, they ended up going in between the two, uh, in between the two buildings, um, to the to the north. Mm. Okay. Um, past that, they turned out of sight, um, and I was trying to console Tamara that that we weren't going to be able to pray this morning, uh, and that's when uh, that's when Sister Grail showed up to to gotcha. assess the damage and begin repairing. So gotcha. is is that the direction of the well, or where's the well from here? Uh, the well is uh, to the northwest. So mm. it's sort of that way. Yeah, I think we can we can go to the well next for sure. So but what well, I'm just saying is that where they were headed. That's what I'm trying to get at. Move and find out. Uh, what was the name of that first tavern we were in again? Sleeping uh, giant. Sleeping yeah. giant. Um, yeah, so I asked her. This boy taking notes. Yeah, so I ask her, hey, you know, that stone they were running off with, would you say it reminds you at all of that one stone in the bar from Sleeping Giant? Did they look similar? Uh, I'll I'll be honest, I don't normally attend the Sleeping Giant with it being the the hideout for the Red Brands or the, the Red Brands favored establishment. Sure. I tended to steer clear, especially, you know, when I could get a drink here instead. Um, we have a much more dignified uh, approach to customer service here and, you know, the best drinks this side of the Tribal Trail. Mm. Well, I mean, did you ever hear the stone described? He seemed awfully proud of it, the uh, old owner of that place. Um, I, I, I believe I was aware, you know, everyone's aware because, you know, their whole gimmick was it's a it's a bar with a big rock in it. Um not hell sure of a gimmick, hell of a gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure why a whole bunch of people were really into that, but um, I mean, I definitely knew of it. Why do you ask? Uh, I, well, the, the stone was taken from the shrine also, correct? The cornerstone. I just wonder uh, if there's any similarities. Yeah, they lost their stone too, the bar oh. did. Interesting. Um, I I can't say for certain if they were the same, but... That's definitely okay. interesting that these these thieves seem to be taking a number of rocks. I'm I'm sure wherever they're from, there are also rocks. Hmm. Maybe. Well, maybe we'll find out more at the well. Maybe. Yep. Yeah. Any other rocks around town look like that cornerstone rock? Um, was it? A, was it? A, did it stand out? This rock was it? Like, oh, that's obviously its own thing, or was it just another rock? It's definitely a, a darker rock. It did. It did. I guess it did look like it had some shaping to it. Maybe that it, it came to a point. Um, but I'm I'm afraid for me, a rock is a rock. No, uh, I get it. Just if something had jogged your memory at all. Yeah. Hmm. Well. I think we've gotten all we can get out of here. Maybe we should check out the well, yeah? Uh, are you, are you, and just are you done water with your the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> I you, say, I say... Are you done bathing here? Or? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, I do get up and I say thanks. And I say, ask ask Harbin to uh, send your invoice to him. And he'll... <laughs> Harbin will take care of this. Yeah. Harbin's got it. Excellent. Well, you pack up and head along your way. Um, you don't go exactly by the the shrine of luck, um, but you do hear you know some some construction and some idle conversation going on a few a few roads over as you make your way to the well. Um, as you approach, um, so you you approach Barthen's provisions, um, and behind it. Uh, you know, this general store behind it is where 
this well is. Um, the modest red brick well behind Barthen's provisions in this state is dilapidated and crumbling. The, the well's walls are toppled over. There are chunks of brick and stone that litter the grass nearby. And the well's roof is splintered and caved in. Um, the well's winch and pulley system have also been smashed to pieces. Um, you see a a uh, a teenage halfling kind of walking around the well, pacing and like looking and like picking up some of the different pieces of the the well's winch and pulley and like trying to like look at where bricks may be able to return into place um, as you approach. I say howdy. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I was hoping. I was like, he's got to just. <laughs> uh, um, hi. Uh, sorry, I'm not in the store. Do you guys need something? We we heard that something happened to this well. I think we can kind of see it took some damage. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, they they broke it. They they broke it all. I don't know why. And he's kind of like waving around bits of like rope and pulley system. <laughs> uh, is there a rock missing? Uh, uh, roll an investigation check for me. Oh. Mm, what was it? it was plus five. Uh, I've got a nineteen. Got a, I don't know. Are you talking to me or him? Way. Anyone? Uh, I rolled a thirteen. Fifteen. Okay. He rolled nineteen. So, um, as you as you look at him, like waving these pieces around, you realize that, like, from the scattered shards. Oh, um, so this is for sorry for you, Durgle. From the scattered shards, he's got like you know the rope and the winch and the pulley, um, but no drum to it like where the rope like wraps around. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh I I I think it's all here. There might be a piece missing. Um I I think there might be one piece missing. Uh oh, yeah. yeah, the 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 drum. Mm. Uh yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we had that I mean, I've been telling I've been telling Barthin for for months that that you know that it was useless. It was weird that we were using um, a rock to to affix it in place. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's, it's gone. Dark colored rock by chance. Uh, yeah, it was darker. Uh, I mean, it was always like underneath the roof, so it sure. was a, a little bit harder to see in general. Mm. Mm. And they just smashed the top of the roof to get it. That seems a little inefficient, don't you think? Well, I mean, the goblins are stupid, so you know. I can relate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Interesting. Uh, it Did was you... it was just this morning as I as I showed up to work. Um, you know, I I saw these creatures um, at the at the well and I tried to I tried to yell at them um and they they dove in uh to the they well dove into the well yeah oh so uh, they kept they kept screaming hurry up I hurry jump up, in the well turn to the rest oh you okay, jump the well. <laughs> no, <I'm> just yeah <laughs> no <laughs> is just kidding is there anything more than water down at the bottom of this well yeah well I, that's the thing I mean there was water but kind of since they've they headed down and there was a loud noise and I, ha I haven't been able to pull up any more water. It's, it's run dry. Mm -hmm. Would you How describe? Many did you see jump down? Yeah. Uh, uh, three or so. Uh oh, boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there are three of us. Uh, we can take them. Wait, would you saying, say, would you say there are goblins and return to the rest, whatever that meant. Rest. Did they mention something about Gorgonzola? Uh, no, actually, I, I don't think that they stole any cheese from us. Uh, yeah. No, idiot. Okay. It's Zumba. Have they talked about Zumba? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> only jazzercise. They were like huh? really into jazzercise. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I have rope in my pack that I could jump down. Yeah. 
Yeah, if if you want to investigate, I don't know I where mean, they went, but we really need this well to function. Um, yeah. I, I I look around. Is there just like a pebble or a rock that wasn't part of the the well? I just want to like toss one down there. Yeah, I got some ball bearings. Let me throw one of them down there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, uh, go ahead and. Uh, you gotta roll like a dex throw is it like beer pong Durgle get it and Skret, as you approach with your passive perceptions of 15 um just like as you as you go to toss something down there yeah. you do hear a kind of strange low gurgling coming from the well interesting so if i if i throw a ball bearing straight down do i hear like a like a sound of it hitting water is it hit something solid or roll perception for me as you throw this down Ooh, that's pretty good. uh a 21. yep so you you let it go and you you do hear a, a splash Ooh. um and then yep. a bit of like a an echo before it just goes back to the low gurgling. Well, there's definitely water down there. I can't say how much. But Do you s- I, I turn back to the. I the really need bearing. that ball bearing back, so I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I turn to the halfling and ask if he still has the bucket or pail that he used to fetch water. Yeah, is that around? Um, yeah, it's right here. And he he goes and steps to the side of the well and and picks up. Um, the bucket that's attached to the end of the rope. Mm. And then, hey, uh, Elverbrin, do you know how to tie like a knot? Yeah. How Fly long is your rope? rope with me? Yeah, let's let's. Uh... Fifty feet. <clears throat> yeah, I'll... more than enough. Chuck, yeah, it, we... chuck it down there, basically. Well, we will be the pulley and winch. We can we can pull it back up. See what happens. Oh wait, I'm put it, pull it, throw the bucket down, and then pull it back up. Is that what well, we're trying to do? I'm I'm wondering, is it water? It makes a splash, uh, but true. why is it? Water doesn't gurgle. Tie the bucket to the rope, throw, throw it yeah, in. Water doesn't gurgle. Back up. Water gurgles all the time. <laughs> well, s- uh, something needs to agitate the water to create a gurgle. It could just be a hole now. So you you drop you drop the bucket down, and again you hear a faint splash, and then the the line goes very slack, and when you go to pull it up again. Um, the bucket as it comes out, like maybe the, the lower inch, two inches of it is wet, but there's no water inside. So, you know, you get the idea that there's a, that there's a slight level of water, but that, you know, it, it should be much deeper. Now he's got to be part of we're sure it's water. If we look at it, sniff it, Uh, lick lick it. (laughs) Yeah. Roll investigation. Both of you. Yeah. I want to check it out. He's got to be paranoid now. That's a 16. Also 16. And yeah, as you as you lick it, I'm going to go ahead and roll damage. No. Oh, no. It is water. <laughs> okay. well, I say that. Uh, yeah, it's, like, it's definitely water. It's like it's a just... Nintendo Switch cartridge. Mm, delicious. <laughs> it's like interesting. Hmm. Is, is there usually not that much water in this? In this I, well? We, we normally only have to lower the bucket half as half as low or uh you know not all the way to the bottom and we have a chance to fill it hmm. Hmm. well it looks like this town just might have to move i don't know what to tell you <laughs> is there is there any way that I mean, you all look like strapping adventurers you know yeah. you did such a great job with the with the red brands is there any yeah. chance that you could go and investigate I don't know, is there, i mean this is a general store right any Anything you'll kick in? Any discount? <laughs> uh, roll persuasion. <laughs> What's Ooh. Your persuasion. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's minus one. That's right, because I'm charismatic. I'm not charismatic. Mine's plus five. Ah. I, have a se- I got a seventeen though. <laughs> uh, Is that- I can, if you're if you're able to fix it, um, then then I'm sure yeah. that Barthen would definitely be able to be able to give you. A store discount. Oh so, oh, so you can't make this decision. I'm talking to the wrong guy. That's what you're telling me. I'm, I'm, I'm just the worker. Um, uh, I'm just there to to help well, stuff. You put Can you in a good the rope for we're going to have to use to get down there. <laughs> uh, you, 
Yeah, I can, we can get you, we can get, if you need more rope, I can go and grab rope. You don't even need to use yours. Yeah, that yeah. would be great. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. that'd be fantastic. Uh, he, he turns around and, and starts like walking briskly into, into the shop. A few moments go by that you're left alone and he comes back out with like 200 feet of rope. It's like, is this, is this enough? Is this Probably. What, like, we perfect. Um, then, then yeah. Uh, right. uh, good luck. All right. Thanks. So let's, Dude, let's, oh, right. let's I was just going to ask, hey, could you could you maybe throw in a, a health potion or two as well? <laughs> maybe, you know, we, we did fight a few of them. And honestly, if we didn't stop them earlier. I mean, who knows what they could have the done. Whole town. Yeah. yeah. Roll persuasion once more, because that's a very <laughs> pricey item. Like, yes. at a, at a general gold, store. Here. Oh, hey, two. Yeah. Uh, two plus um, nothing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. he didn't he's not buying it at all to, to set to set some per perspective like a one gold is like what a commoner might spend in a year mm -hmm. yeah um as soon as you get to like magical items the prices of them are ludicrous the the rate that adventurers get money in D, &D is insane hmm. um but with with that, well, uh, we don't we don't have any um, health health potions in stock at the moment. We we really only get those through. Sometimes you know we're not we're not um, uh, like a big emporium of a store. We're more like milk, eggs, cheese, um, um, rope. Uh, as you've seen, I thought yeah. you didn't have gorgonzola. Uh, well, he said they no, didn't run, take off with it. It wasn't the yeah, cheese. Yeah, they didn't steal it. We, yeah. we still have the Gorgonzola. Do you I want already, Gorgonzola? I can I, get you a wheel of cheese. No. I already asked about the cheese. We're good. Yeah, I think we're okay. <laughs> okay. We appreciate it. Um, well, I feel like uh, we should go down this well. Climb down. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to hit F5 to quick save. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's going down first? <laughs> I've I've got like eighteen AC. I, maybe I can I can be yeah, a tank. Let's have the, well, unless in case you break the rope, let's have him go down first. Oh, do you call him yeah, me heavy? That's fair. Oh, I'm just saying you're a big old. You got a boy. big ass shell. <laughs> he can also yeah. fly. He doesn't. Need <laughs> yeah, I don't even need the rope. <laughs> yeah, he clicks his heels together. Yeah, he yeah. just clicks his heels Not together naturally. <laughs> I, it ain't, it I, ain't natural. I try to use the rope. Is it does it support? my shell weight instantly yeah snaps. definitely <laughs> all right i go <laughs> i start going down okay can i have you make an athletics check for me Ooh. okay i'm uh -oh. good at this one 22. hey excellent Plus as seven you, as you slowly lower yourself the smell of damp earth uh tinged with acrid rot fills your nose um what looks like the remains of an underground river snakes through this cavern that you found yourself in. Um, there is a pile of large rocks blocking its head stream, though. Mm. And I yell all of that up to them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you yell all of this... I cut the rope. <laughs> <laughs> in the far corner Sorry, of the cavern yeah. um oh no kind of shaking its way loose from from some other rubble um you see the source of that scent um a a pile of carrion and sewage is being dragged by a fleshy three-legged creature as okay. you as you yell back out to the rest of the party um, this creature looks up at you. You see that it has three sturdy legs, two in the front, one in the back. It's all a, a pale gray kind of, or like tan color to it. Um, on the front of its mouth, it's got a massive gaping maw filled with rows upon rows of teeth. Mm. Um, that's not what catches your attention as much, though, as a a, a vine-like stalk is protruding from the middle of its back with three glistening eyes blinking at you one at a time in the dark. Um, I hate that. And, and it's also got uh, tentacles on either side of its body that open out into spiky leaf-like appendages. 
Mm. And seeing you as you have called out loudly in its domain, it's going to start heading towards you. Would you say so it's aggressive? That, I would definitely <laughs> say it's aggressive. Uh oh. I think, the, I think your question's about to be answered with the map change. Roll initiative is what I think he was about to say. Mm -hmm. Yes, and with that, we will indeed. Ooh. Oh, that's right. We can go roll initiative. All we right. all down there now? Uh, well, you... technically, only no, one of Only is he here. is. Yep. So. All right, let's roll here. Ooh, I got. What's that? I got a 21. A. All right, is it plus I, four? I think I got. Let me see. I also got yeah. a 10. Did everyone get a 10? I got 21. Um, oh, okay. Okay, so script will be going first. Um, let's go ahead and move uh, Elrebrin and Skrit to the side. So is this and a... Durgle, uh... Oh, go ahead. Uh, and just Durgle is the sensor as the... Uh, so that's where the well comes. Okay. Otiug. Otiug. I even wrote down the pronunciation of this. Otiug, yeah. Otiug. This this Otiug looks at you and begins to charge over. Um, Squit, it's your turn first. You're not aware that this is happening down there, though. You have heard the, the heard description some... of the caved in caved in wall and the water. Um, I guess I'm like, well, it seems safe enough. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start moseying on my way down to see what's up. Check it okay, out. Okay, as you as you climb down, could I have you make an athletics check as well? I got what about fourteen. Okay, fourteen. Yep, that's totally fine. You managed to make your way down, and now you two are at the bottom of this well. Um, you would have used uh, half of your movement to get down because um, so there was the left. rope. Okay. So you've got 15 feet of movement as you two are made aware of the Odiug. And I'm like, holy fuck, what is that thing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I think I will back up the 15 feet. One, two, 15. Yep. To get further away from that thing. And hmm, can I try to hide... Uh, yeah, action. there's definitely some some rocks and stuff around. Um, okay. If you wanted to head further south instead, that's, that's, oh, okay. You could probably hide around these rocks. I don't have enough movement for that. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I, you live there now. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to quite hide in this in this situation. You could definitely take Damn. your next turn to get somewhere more opportune. Well. In that case, I'll just shoot my bow at this thing. Okay, go ahead and this roll the hit. Crazy thing. I got a... Ooh, 25. 25 definitely hits. Let's see what I roll again. D6 plus 4. There you go, 7. Okay. 7 damage. Takes 7 points of damage um, as that as that first arrow flies out and hits him. Um, you hear the Odiug roar in like a large guttural roar. Made, made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but then um, you get uh, in your mind you get a, a feeling of pain. Not your own pain but like transmitted pain um, as if the, oh. the Odiug is communicating that it's in pain to you. Oh. Right, anything more your turn? That's it. That's all I could do. Okay. Yeah. Durgle, it's your turn. Elrobrin, you're on deck. I, I hold up my hands and I'm like, we cool? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <A> persuade check. <laughs> A animal handling? Is it an yeah, animal? Roll animal handling for me. It is an aberration. It's animal handling. It is mad. It's basically, uh, you're, you're 14. Ugh. 14. Okay. Uh, on its turn, we will see how that goes. Is there anything else <laughs> you would like to do with this turn? 
I click I my it. heels. Okay, uh, click yeah. your heels, activate yeah. flight. Yes. I should have done I'm that on mine with my bonus action too. <laughs> Uh, and like, how how much distance is there between? Like, if I were to try to fly straight up the well, is that like? Oh, you feet? fuck! <laughs> it's like 20, 20 feet up. <laughs> okay, just just good to know. Just good to think about. Uh, you're just gonna be like, well, I'm out. <laughs> just looking. <laughs> <do it. laughs> and that's it. Good knowing you guys. <laughs> oh, well, and I yell, and I yell up the well. Or an actually, no, I don't. Never mind. I'm, I'm good. I think he would have heard the roar would've after roared, I yeah. Uh, yeah. shot the thing. He'd be like, "What yeah. the fuck is that?" Yeah. Yeah, he definitely heard heard the roar. I wonder what that kid's thinking. He's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> well, that sounds you, you should I'm tell him before it, before you jump down. Be like, "You're gonna up that <laughs> that discount, right?" And then <laughs> jump in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, right, I think that, well, that's uh, that's all I'm doing with my turn. Okay. Nice. I'll drop down into... And you said that was, what, 20 feet? Yeah. You're climbing down the rope or you're jumping down? Uh, oh, yeah. Climbing down the rope. Okay, go ahead and make that athletics check for me. Athletics. Do, 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 do. 11. Oh, uh -oh. Just make it. Oh, yeah, you're you're oh, able God. to climb down successfully without taking damage. I would have been for shit. If slipped and fell. That'd be awesome. It's been <laughs> it's been pretty interesting. I make it down, and then I still have fifteen. So one, two, it's up there, and I will cast Hunter's Mark on it. Okay. Now that it's expired on the other dude, technically. Is there like a uh, saving throw on it? No, right? You just do it? No, you just cast it, basically. Uh, duration up to an hour. Oh, fancy. Look at that. Yeah, I totally um, forgot that this was part of it, too. Yeah, oh. there's... On, on yeah, the video, I'm still in range. Yeah. It's 90-foot range. Um, okay. And then I will shoot my bow, which... Damn. Ask questions okay, later, me and uh, Elrin here. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Uh, that, I also have Colossus Slayer. That's fucking Grindle over there. What is but that? That's not does this Colossus turn. Slayer do. Once yeah. per turn, when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature takes an extra one d8 damage if it's below its HP maximum. So for a follow up shot later on, I do more damage. Well, I did well, damage. It's already it. been. Hit. Yeah, I Wait, hit it for oh. seven. That's true. Oh, but that's no, only if low. is it only affected if it's a colossal size or just as a creature. Whoa. So that's interesting. Oh. I forgot that I had that. Um so I will shoot my bow at it. Yep, go ahead, roll the hit. Twenty. 20 hits, so roll your regular damage, and then an additional 1d8. 9. Nice. Uh, plus another d8. I get the sense that we're not going to be very cool with this thing. Oh, I think Six. we, we kind of fucked it for you. Okay, yeah. It's, I would I would say, oh man, Rut, having that extra D8 damage to something that was below its max health would have been really helpful last battle. But I don't think that you hit. So I don't think no. that it would have mattered. Yeah. yeah. He did hit he, that uh, guy. I hit one what? of them. Because he got yeah. that guy okay. down to one health. Yeah. Oh, then that the would, that would have actually Yeah, helped. that would have done yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. This is why it's important to always read, read your, your character, character sheets. sheets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, okay, anything more with your turn? No, technically I have a D6 as well with the Hunter's Mark. Oh yeah, I had oh, your D6 yeah. as well. Fucking, Damn. you're immediately forgetting shit. Yep. See, look how much I'm more very damage good at this D&D thing. Two, two damage, so in total, 17. Yeah, that's great. Okay, it is now the Odiug's turn. Not useless. Um, it's going to move forward towards Durgal. Oh no. Fucking eat him. The one guy that's like, hey, we're cool, right? And it just fucking <laughs> eats him. <laughs> uh, 
It's going to move to here. Mm. Actually, yeah, I can get there. Right. Yep. So it's going to move to there, and it is going to uh, reach forward and try to bite you, Durgle. Mm. Uh, with a nat one, hey. it is not going to be able to bite. It, oh. like, bites its tongue and is like, la, 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 la. Yeah. See, we're cool. Um, and now it's even more pissed off. And then it's going to reach out and flail at you with its tentacle, nat 20. Mm. Uh-oh. Um, so that's going to be... That's why we don't befriend things. We hit first, ask questions later. I guess so. Yep. So that's going to do 20 points of damage. God, these things <laughs> just hit. Um, <laughs> And can I have you make? Oh, and it, yeah, if it hits, uh, you're grappled. So your ah. movement is now zero as you're stuck in this tentacle. Then, with its second tentacle, it is going to go ahead and try to hit Elrebrin. Uh, it is a 13 to hit. Oh, it misses, yeah. My AC is 14. Okay, then, yeah, that misses. Um, and that's going to be the end of its turn. It's now here. Did you just dab? <laughs> <laughs> it just dab, yeah. It really did. Kill this guy. That, that should enrage the monster. <laughs> you take two points of damage. <laughs> yeah, God said so. <laughs> hey, man, I, I don't make up the rules. Well, sometimes I do, but... <laughs> I hurt myself dabbing. <laughs> um, so with that... Old. Uh, Skirt, it's now your turn. Durgle, Skirt, you're up next. Oh, you. <laughs> it's <laughs> skeet to <Skirt>. you. <laughs> Skirt. How dare you? All right. I'm, I'm trying to think what would be the best move here. You could flank. Yeah, but I really want this uh, sneak attack damage here, buddy. Oh, you it's get sneak, sneak attack when you attack when you have advantage. Oh, oh well, shit. So oh. if you, if you move into advantage. a flank then you get advantage and that's your sneak attack so where do i need to move to flank so from here so you would need to be directly opposite one of your friends so you'd need to be either here to flank with Durgle there, up there. Or okay. here to flank with elrebrin knowing that Durgle's movement is zero at the moment here is likely a good chance to get the uh to well, get flanking and he's not going to be able to move out of flanking 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'd have to bonus action to move that one other five feet to dash. Uh, I only have 30 movement. Yeah. Might be I mean, you can also click your heels. So that way you get that in the future. Too. Yeah, I might, yeah, I should, just, I should have done it the first turn, but I forgot. So I'll just do that. I'll just <laughs> click the thing. So I have 60. So I have my bonus for this turn. Sheets, like, very good. Now I will swing with my the rapier in the old... Uh, Dagger. Okay, go ahead and roll to hit at advantage. So I'm rolling the uh, rapier first, right? Yeah, and if on your character sheet, Ooh. if you right click, there's an option to roll with advantage. Yeah, but I, I'm rolling dice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought you were rolling physical dice. So I got a 26. So that I rolled okay, 19. 26 definitely hits. Okay, should I roll? I'll just roll the hit for the second one, too. Yep, go for it. That. I rolled two twos, so... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing well, on that doesn't one. Matter. So now you're going to roll your regular Eight. to hit and then That's add right. your sneak attack dice to that. Let me get this up here. So I got the D8. Where's that? There it is. Nope. Where the fuck did it go? And sneak attack is plus three d six. Yeah. So I got the. Ooh, is that eight? Yes, yeah, so I got eight plus four, so twelve, and then three d six. So twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. A one one two. So sixteen Eight, damage altogether. Sixteen points of damage. Um. And with that, it is now Durgle's turn. I, I um, just, so you uh, now are also flanking. So right. you can also attack oh. with advantage. Oh, yes. I get to roll two. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So I just sigh and say, we tried to be friends, bud. But uh, all right. Um, I'm just going to go for the full nuke. I think I'm just going to go yep. just maximum punches. And each one, 
is advantage. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh Everyone. All right. First one. It's a 17 plus 7. 24 that to hits. hit. Okay. So that's 1d6 plus 4. Pretty, pretty good. 8 damage. Okay. It takes 8 points of damage. Second one. It's a 19 plus 7. It's 26 to hit. Yep, that also hits. Okay. One plus four, five. Okay. Okay, and then expending the key point just to do two more punches. It's a 14 plus seven, 21. 21 hits. One plus four, five. Five points of damage. Hey, my right. damage is damage. Yeah, and the last one here. Ooh. Okay, it's another 19 plus 7, 26. That also hits. 4 plus 4, 8 damage. Hell yeah. That's, so this thing is immediately starting to look pretty hurt. Um, nice. Definitely you're getting some some big consecutive hits in. Um, Elrobrin, it's now your turn. Uh, you have to try to get away from him. Thank you. Hmm. I actually use my swords oh you've got, you've you've got swords yeah he, he doesn't get advantage though. Guys with swords yeah in this position he would not get advantage no mm -hmm. but i have i have another trait tied into two weapon fighting so i can add my ability modifier to the damage of the second sword oh, wow. oh okay uh, well then <laughs> so i will use my i will, will do a multi-attack okay so I go to ahead and words. roll to hit with your rapier first all right so we'll start with the first oh. one. Oh, hey hold on it's just to add on for right you can attack twice you're oh yeah you're, you have two attacks per action yeah like with your longbow you could have oh shit <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Did in my it? head, it was just with the swords. Oh. Now it's just like you've got multiple actions. All right, well, actions. now I can basically do four attacks. Um, I can only uh, do the one. So that was a 16 for the first one. Okay. Uh, 16 hits. Second one, I'm just going to both hits. That was a nine, so probably not. Uh, no, nine does not hit. All right, so first one hits. Five damage. Okay, it takes five points of damage, and then you've got your offhand, your one offhand attack that you can do. Uh, didn't I miss that one? Well, so you've got two actions. So you've got. Oh yeah. Your you've done your like two scimitar attacks. Yep. And then you can do your offhand dagger attack. Yeah, yeah. and that's a bonus. So it, you know. Yeah. So sixteen to hit. Well, you rolled with the scimitar that time again. Oh, got it. Um, you want to well, off. The... He has two scimitars, yeah? I have two. I have two oh, plus okay. ones. Well, yeah. then, yeah, that hits. Um, so... Go ahead, roll damage. Nine damage. Fuck yeah. Okay. So that's great turn. Uh, anything more you want to do? No. Oh, oh wait, okay. wait. Uh, Hunter's Mark and Coloss Colossus oh, yeah. Slayer. You can add both of them to one attack. So roll an extra D8 and an extra D6. Fucking shit. You got to remember your shit, right? Yeah, I know, I do. <laughs> I can't keep track, man. Uh, three and two, so five. Okay. Yeah, it's looking even, even more, more. Or no, the hurt. Colossus Slayer, the one doesn't count. I can only do it once. Or no, that's. Per per turn, not per. Yeah, so you much. just get to do it once. Yeah. No. Okay, man, it's That's like every single time on. Scrappy reminds you of something on your character sheet, it just takes more damage. Yep. <laughs> it, I just, it is I... now the Odiog's turn, though. Uh oh. Yeah, beat um, the shit out of me, and I'm gonna die again. So, um, it's it's actually with the with the tentacle that is currently wrapped around Durgle, it's gonna raise Durgle up in the air and then throw them down, nice. uh, like smashing them against the the fork. So can I have you make a, a Constitution saving throw for me? 
Sure. I yeah. didn't realize he was still in the tentacle, or I probably would have oh, chopped it. Uh, at. That's a two plus two, four. Ugh. Okay, so that's definitely a failure. So you're going to take 14 points of bludgeoning Rip. damage? Rip. Exactly to zero. Okay. Uh, and then it is going to take a bite at Elrabrin. Come at me, bro. Uh, and that's going to be a uh, 13 to hit, which is just short. Yeah. Uh, and then it's going to reach around with its spare tentacle and try to get at Skrit, which it does oh, with a 25 getting, to hit. Getting the old, old reach around of Skrit, huh? Right. <laughs> and you're going to take seven points of damage, and you are now also grappled. Okay. Grappled, so I cannot move. So is it uh, flanking still, even though he's, like, unconscious? Just a curiosity. Um, uh, I believe so. Okay. Uh, and with that, it is now Skrit's turn. Okay, well, just gotta keep wailing on it, right? And it's probably close to dead, right? I don't know. So I'll attack with the old the rapier here. Okay. Oh, go ahead and roll to hit. That 20, That's baby. 20. That oh, 20, buddy. Fuck yeah. Okay. That 20. Um, so I don't remember how that works for these. Is it double the dice or double the damage? It's, du it's double. You double what is on the dice rolls. And, and then, then you, you add, add the, the, the additional okay. numbers. Okay, so I'd roll 1d8 for this, and then add, then we'll double that, and then add the 4. Yeah. All right. So does this include the, it, do I get sneak attack damage again? Uh, yeah, because of so the is that flank. also doubled? Yeah, it's, oh, that is, that is numbers on the dice. Oh, shit. So I'm rolling. Roll a d8 and 3d6. A d8 and 3d, yeah, so. And double all of it. So, oh, that's 7, so 14. Okay. Plus... Two plus two plus ten, so that's fourteen plus four, 28. twenty-eight. Okay, that's twenty-eight plus four, so thirty-two. Okay, that's and thirty-two then, damage. I then I have my dagger I can attack with. <laughs> well, or... as you as you attack it with the rapier, how do you describe its death? Oh god, I don't know what the thing looks like. I don't, oh well, well no, he's got the. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm grappled, aren't I, with a tentacle? You are. So, I cut through that real fast, and then just thrust as far as I can with that rapier through. Kill that thing. Like I said, Squid doesn't mess around. He's not flourish. He just wants to kill shit. Yeah, you you absolutely impale it through, and this there we go. Can I go all the way through the side form. and accidentally hit Durgle? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> One more death count. <laughs> no, oh, gross. that's the thing. It's like a kingdom death monster. Yeah, that's like when he was describing. I was like, that's what I was picturing. <laughs> There's the Odiug in all of its glory. So this is oh, what you have just more like a dead and impaled. It's beautiful, um, dude. That's fucking and phenomenal. Quiet befalls the the space again. Um, Durgle is in the process of bleeding out. So if anyone wants to go and address that quickly. Eh. I'll go pick him up. Okay, so you can either feed him a potion or do a medicine check on him. Ooh, medicine is minus one, so that's Ooh. risky. What happens yeah. if I fail the medicine check? Does he die? No. Just nothing really All right, we're going to do the medicine check then. <laughs> okay, go okay. ahead. Roll medicine. I'll go over there too if he fails. Oh, uh, 20 plus minus one. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nat 20? It was a nat 20. Hey. Okay, yeah. His, 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 I'll say he's up with 2 HP. Hey. hey. Oh, wait. How do, so how do I I'm do that? I'm not a doctor. Oh, it says. Oh, no. You I should see. just okay, be able to give go. yourself yeah, 2 yeah. HP. Yeah. There we go. So, Durgle, you, you awaken to Elrabrin over you, 
masterfully applying some some medicine from a pack um with the odio now slain um and you're back you know you now have time to reassess your surroundings you understand that uh you know this this well is dried up because of the broken uh the 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 cave in that has happened to the north wall. Mm. So we can see the blocked wall. Is what's the other direction? The other direction, just the the stream can. Well, this it's where the stream would continue. Is that um, like, you see that? Go down there. Yeah, you can follow that path. Um, I have a crowbar. In my oh, the other thing is, can so, we all see down here? I yeah. can. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, you're you're able to see. Um, okay. It's it's not too much further down this path as you as you explore it that it um, that it kind of opens out to a mountainside where it looks like it would kind of just continue flowing on down. Mm. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Do, are are my heels still clicked? I don't know if that continues after you fall. Uh, yeah, sure. Or okay, I fly back up and I say, "Hey, you well, is is the halfling there?" Yeah, 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 he's still there. Okay, Did you I hear say, all that hey. shit? <laughs> hey, so uh, it, it sounded there's... like you totally knew what you were doing, and then there was like a loud roar, and then and then all of you went down there. And are you okay? Yeah. You look we really just slew hard. a dragon, basically. That's all. No. <laughs> yeah, and I, I've I've been through worse. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of rocks blocking the um, blocking the stream down there. There was a there was a cave in. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, the word. Sure. Uh, well, that would explain lack of water. Mm -hmm. Well, we're we're just three people. I don't know if we can do it. We can. Uh, I mean, you know, you you there are other people in town. They could probably help with. Yeah, we can. I, it. If it, it's safe down there. I, I yell back yes. down. Hey, is it safe down there? Yes. I, I, po I start prodding the thing. <laughs> Do something. Uh, oh, oh, it made a noise. Uh, <laughs> gas, <laughs> gas leaving the corpse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, mean, I there's like, no other. If we take a look around, there's no because the goblins escaped down here. Obviously, they could have ran out down the street, down the mountainside. But is there anything? <laughs> if I look around the walls, anything look Any suspicious? Nothing in particular, no. Yeah. Um, I, I tell him the most dangerous thing just left the well. Did I leave? That's, that's rude to script. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, well, if, if it's if it's safe, then yeah. Uh, if you're if you're not able to help, then I can I can get with some townspeople and and we can start unblocking the well. I, I, well not I'm not problem. doing it. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean you like, we're not fucking doing that yeah. and we take the rest of the day to unblock the cavern <laughs> i mean technically the me like mechanics should, it would though. only take you guys 30 minutes oh i mean will we what's drown behind it if we unblock it oh uh, you want to see if there's like there's loop. a rope <laughs> well if there's something behind well what if that's where the, the crumb goblins crumb. escaped and they they sealed their exit that's, mm, that's fair okay does anybody have a bomb can we blow Not it in up? My inventory. No. Just a crowbar <laughs> and a hammer. The, the Legend of Zelda approach. <laughs> Any, anybody got some explosives? Well, no. No, I don't have any explosives, but I guess we can help move it. I am just worried about being only at 2 HP. Yeah, that sounds like you problem. So it is just a let's problem. just get. Uh, <laughs> I love the teamwork and camaraderie between you three. <laughs> or I mean, maybe been adventuring for three weeks together. Yeah, I don't really know him. Yeah, or maybe it's like I can take a short rest and you two take forty minutes to unblock. unblock <laughs> yeah, you just sit there and watch us. That son of a bitch. <laughs> just sitting there fucking eating berries or something. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, try that, that one. Worked, try that rock. I just find a druid to cast Goodberry for me, real quick. So it, at this uh, point, the guys, uh, the the guy has already like lowered himself down into the into the space uh, and started so he started helping. slowly moving, um, moving oh, the rocks. It will help. Does he see me? I don't I know. Wanna, can I like can scare him like a pebble? Can I like come up behind him? You know that meme of like the Undertaker, like just showing up behind the guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but with with everyone's help, um, it does only take 20, 30 minutes to to clear this. You know, once you kind of get some of the the more core parts of the rock away, um, you actually probably Durgle, you feel quite refreshed as the water begins to flow freely. Uh, and then you yeah. again you quickly take some time to uh, you know, you quickly judge when you need to be leaving. Um, and you guys scurry back up the the rope as water begins to to run freely through the well. So is it just rushing water? Can we see anything behind the opening? Oh yeah, as you uh, as you open it out, you see that um, the cave continues for a little bit and then gets to another another opening um, that ends up hooking around and leading eastward. Um, and you kind of just got like the open the open wild in front of you. Um, with some like mountainous outcroppings. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, Did any of the rocks going. look different? Roll investigation <laughs> or nature for me. Ooh, I want to roll that. I got really good nature. Uh, what's it's higher? Doesn't. Investigation or nature? Yeah, I'm going to say investigation. That gives me a plus two. So, so what's uh, between like proficient and expertise? Um, well, if you have proficiency in something, it means that yeah. you, like on top of your stats, you add your proficiency bonus to it. But gotcha. in D&D Beyond, it already factors all It already factors all, that, all in. that in. Yeah. yeah. So you just right. need to look at the number. I got a 15. Okay. Um, there were no... There were no rocks that were um, clearly different from from the others that you have looked at. Um, with the investigation, uh, maybe not looking at the rocks as much, but the ground around the rocks, you do see sets of of small goblinoid footprints that that clearly headed this way, mm. headed towards the rocks. Follow them. Well, like headed away from from the rocks on the far side. Okay, so, so out towards were, yeah, downstream. This, from the suspicion that you had that they headed out this way and caused the cave in to to mask their escape. Gotcha. So they did escape that behind the rocks, then essentially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We don't have any and, other clues, right? Do we just go that way? Yeah. Or, or, or is the stream strong enough that we can't? go that way you no, know you can you can you can get back up okay yeah so you're you're able to return to the top you know of the of the places that you've investigated you know you're able to to catch word um about where the vandals were headed from the boy uh, the shrine of luck you weren't able to find anything directly in terms of a of a clue um, and you were able to hear about uh, Zorzub. Fuck, even I've forgotten what it is now. Damn it. So, so, <laughs> Gorgonzola. Uh, Zorzula. Yeah, Zorzula. Zorzula. Yeah. But with that, you, you know, you've, you've kind of investigated those places. Um, so it might, be, it might be time to meet up with Gwen. Mm. Uh, that's right. She was going to look into Gorgonzola's for us. Yeah. Okay, I say we go back to maybe go back to the Stonehill Inn and ask uh, what's her face if she's seen her sister Gwen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you you can return to the Stonehill Inn uh, very easily and chat with uh, Trilina. Um, you know, welcomes you back to the establishment and she lets you know that um, that her sister was saying that she would be at the town master's house um, researching, you know, into the area and where, where these goblins may have been coming from. Mm. Then we go there. Okay. Yeah. As you, as you make your way back, um, you know, the, the cr angry crowd out front has dispersed um, and you let yourself in through the through the front door this time again, um, and you're met with Gwyn standing kind of in a in a study space near the the town master's, uh, uh, you know, in the town master's home, um, as she's kind of taken over this space, has got 
maps of the area sprawled out and has different, um, you know, uh, an eclectic mix of her own research texts on goblins as well as tomes that the town master was likely able to provide. Um, she looks up at you all over her glasses. Oh, you've you've returned. Have you have you found out more clues? You know where where they may be from or what they're after. We know they uh, like rocks. We, they they have a affinity for rocks. The specific rocks. Interesting. Rocks. rocks. Dark colored can't, rocks. Can't quite say that I've heard of goblins going after rocks. There must be some purpose behind this. Do you hear anything else about where they might have been going to or coming from? They headed eastward. Okay, you know that well? You know that well behind the general store? Yeah. They went down under there and then they they kind of kind of headed north upstream and kept going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh okay, so and she's kind of like looking at all of the maps and she's folding them to fit better and like looking out how things go. Um, can I have you all roll a history check too? E. I can find my character yeah, sheet again. History. I got 17. Oof. Eight. Okay. So with, with the 17, um, you were able to also remember that um, the the teenage halfling mentioned that the that the goblins were talking about hurrying up and returning to the rest. Um, yes. She goes, "Oh, oh, well, then it it must be." And she kind of, you know, references a map and pulls out a different book with kind of more zoomed in uh, atlas view of everything. And she is able to point to a point to an outpost um, that she, this was an abandoned Dwegar mining outpost um, known as the Rest. Um, oh. that, uh, let me see. And she kind of asks the town master, "Have you got any books on the mining operations nearby?" Like, oh yes, well it was all permitted, so uh, we've got some yeah 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 and pulls out, um, goes through his documentation and, and, you know, pulls out these old historical records, blows some, some dust off them, um, and is able to, to show you all like the, the mining permissions and properties for Zorzula's rest. Mm. Zorzula's rest. And with that, you've all got a pretty excellent idea that that is where you should be heading. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. It's all it's, it's all too convenient to me. We must. It's got to be the other direction. <laughs> so now <laughs> this with, makes too much sense. <laughs> with a with a new heading to go on, um, you you know you feel like you know where your next steps of this adventure will be. Um, you you pack your equipment up again, and just as you're about to leave. The door swings open and in steps a, a paladin with shining armor and a, a mage with a large gnarled root staff. Um, seemingly out of nowhere, a, a shadowy looking elf also appears. This, this man at the front says, we're the heroes that you've all been after. So I think that we'll, we'll take this one from here. Thank you all for, uh, for figuring out where these goblins are coming from, but uh, we can we can take care of it, uh, sir. I will kill you. Do we? They, they I, turn around and begin to leave. Do we still get our back? No. Do we still get paid? Um, yeah, you've already gotten your payment in the purpose of the in the in the route of this conversation. Oh, well, fuck it. Who gives um, shit? See you. Peace. Have fun. <laughs> 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 and, they, and, they, and that's actually the end of the book funny it's wild yeah <laughs> these these heroes head off to make their way to zorzula's rest um you know you all feeling a bit strange collecting your things go to also take a step to leave this place and as you cross the threshold of the door everything around you begins to shift and shimmer and dissolve away 
uh, you slowly, you know, your senses realign as, as you're done taking these steps, looking around you, you now find yourself in a massive built up city uh, that not only does this city stretch forward in front of you, but it also arcs up and you're able to watch the city. You're practically on what is the inside of a donut. Um, and that is where we're going to end this session. Is this Halo? Is this Inception where the the folds? No, it's, it's, uh, it's Sigil, the ringed city from Planescape, which is the next D and D adventure that's releasing. So if we want to continue the adventure (laughs) with the, with the new expansion, then we can, we can pick up with Skrit Durgle and Elrebrin as they find themselves. (laughs) in a different expansion (laughs) (laughs) the expansion heroes tune in next time but yeah Uh, so 200 congratulations guys you you managed to investigate the places find the things uh and then and then you let the the real main characters go out on their adventure while you (laughs) headed out on a different one (laughs) yeah I, i can't wait for the next expansion where it's just all just a night out debauchery like drinking and you know there's no real adventuring happening it's just, just <laughs> okay how with this. real life works man. like we can't do all the work and then these fuckers come in and steal the glory mm. hey man at the at the the way i'm thinking it is that at the rate that wizards of the coast is releasing expansions it's impossible to actually play through a whole one so instead what if I just forced you guys to play the start of every new expansion? Ah. <laughs> That's how you play through them all. That's kind right. Of. Yep. Yeah. Wait, but that so- has been that has been the adventure as it as it steps from Lost Minds of Fendelver into the Shattered Obelisk. Okay. Mm. So this is like the second leg of an adventure. Essentially, we just did. Yeah. The start of it. The, yeah. Right. So if someone were to get the book themselves, how much yes. have we spoiled for them just now? We have gone through it's been like barely pages. Let me see. We have gone through God, I would. I'm just looking at your book. It looks like less than half for sure. Uh, we've we've gone through. We've gone from page 78 to page 87. Oh. So nine nine pages. Wow. Um, we've we've done that. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot to that you can get through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, the first half of this book people may may find familiar, but there are a whole bunch of updates to it. Um, and then all of the rest, it's a up to level 12 adventure. Um, it's a really fun read. Um, I've already got my full review for this out on techraptor.net. So if you want to get a spoiler free, uh, spoiler free thoughts on the whole adventure, then, uh, you can go and check that out. Hell yeah. You guys did a good job of creating a very interestingly antagonistic party that was a lot of fun to have to react to yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's just like the podcast oh. yeah that's well, I, true. I, I made script and i was like he's not very charming he's just like says shit. Yeah. he's a dude hey, I, hey. I love how the the only person with like persuasion and charisma on our party just like did it like you ro- you rolled one of those checks and it was just i choose to deceive <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now make it up for me. I'm here to sow chaos. Yeah. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. I'm I am a former war veteran that became a mercenary and just doesn't give a fuck. Mm. So excellent, excellent. Yeah, so that was a well, lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks. So so glad that you could get in, and that's like what three hours? Not bad at all. That's not yeah, bad at all. A little under that. Yeah. So I mean, that's not bad for like a session, especially like a one shot. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. Oh no, that was great. I I. Yesterday's session that I ran was five hours. The longest session I've ever played was a one shot that was thirteen hours long. My Damn! God. How many pages was that? I mean, it, it was all a one shot that the DM made up. So I don't think that it was. 
wasn't quite into the published pages material, but I, yeah. fair enough. I don't know if you could call that a one shot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you did, they did it all in one sitting. Yeah, yeah. We we started at midday and ended at like three a.m. or something. Um, That's a good day. It was wild. Things got <laughs> slap happy. Did you did you simulate like when your party took a short rest, you ate dinner? Like <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> kind of yeah, I mean, role play were, a little. We we played through we played through snacking and ordering pizza like that was just we were in. Damn, uh, my, it reminds me of the focus. Yeah, v- big raid energy. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm sure there are people out there and maybe on this pod that have done 13 hour Baldur's Gate three sessions. So I I think there's a little bit of well, you know sure. people can feel it. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know <laughs> what you're I'm implying. Baldur's sir. I'm, just, I'm just saying Baldur's Gate three. Which inspired all of Dungeons and Dragons, of course. It's true, uh, that's what I've is, heard. It's gr- you know, great. and great way to... Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. So uh, that, that was my first time playing. That was deep. it's fun. Mm-hmm. It's stuff, it uh, it's like... very it's very classic fantasy adventure stuff going on. This I think it's a very good like giving you an idea of what D and D is about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Deal. Did you say it's like Baldur's Gate? <laughs> no. Not no, quite. Yeah, there, there are enough differences, and I think there's a lot not of yet, fun not enough, that. not enough fucking right. Well, yeah, I nobody, the, nobody wanted to bang. What the fuck? <laughs> you, hey, I, that's what the, I thought this be, was about. Be the change you want to see in the world, right? Oh, uh, uh, I guess I didn't <laughs> ask. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. But I think the the thing that table, like I think, Girl, you want to fuck? <laughs> I, I, shell, yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> 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 but like i think Baldur's gate right i mean that definitely had a big like i think it, it captured so many people's attention because of oh, yeah. how open-ended it is oh, but yeah. at the same time there's nothing that beats the real like th- we were we aren't around a table right now this isn't literally tabletop but it is yeah. we're doing that and there's just so many different yeah. there's so much more freedom you know in terms of like, you can really do anything and at the end of the day it's up to stretch to say no you can't do that <laughs> nah it's never it's <laughs> never a no with beyond, me too. D like like Beyond cool, and dude. being able to roll within it. Super. Pretty... I know we're like way late to the party, fucking slow folks here. It's like, hey, you guys heard of Fortnite? This is that's what I've. This is a, <laughs> this is our Fortnite <laughs> moment with D and D Beyond. Um, yeah, it's really cool though. I'll tune in next week when we discover this thing called Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> it's... <laughs> what? I'm gonna fly everyone together. It's a new game for the N64. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're really oh, up with that's, the time. That's the first game I stayed up all night playing. So you're, you're gonna tell me Smash we can Bros. fight on top of a Star Fox ship? That's pretty rad. Did you, are they making a um, game about that main character from Smash? Mm. You hear that? Okay. Can I ask you, Stretch, as like from the other side of the table, right? I mean, you've mm-hmm. DM'd a lot of campaigns. What was it like, kind of figuring out your game plan for this based on the book they gave you? So, I mean, it 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 was very it's very open ended the way that this starts you know it's such an immediate plot hook in which i think is really smart for them to do design wise um that it that this is also a hop on point that you can have done lost mines of fandelver or you can just hop straight in with shattered obelisk so i think that it does a good job to kind of have you show up there's an immediate plot hook of goblins and then on top of that there's also like you get introduced to some key locations. Um, you know, as always, there's a there's a sizable amount of of improv and role play. Um, you know, you there are chances to get four different clues. I only gave you guys an option to get three that I thought would narratively be more entertaining, and especially with the time. Sure. You guys missed the clue in the shrine of luck that was I knew there was something there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That there was a, a YouTube broken... is he insulting that little girl. Well, she knows <laughs> shit. Useless. There's a, a broken mining pick with Dwegar runes on it. Uh, um, okay. But you guys absolutely crushed the. Uh, so, to be fair, crushed... I did investigate this shrine. I just fucking failed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, there, there was also going to be another one if you tried to like follow the path that they went. There was also another broken pick in the lane between those two houses. Mm. Okay. Um, so there were like a couple of chances there to to get something um but then you know as the book states like you know if your party doesn't get all of the clues you know doing a dc 15 history check on a success they'd be able to intuit what info they're missing um and you guys remembered the the key bit of information that helped her patch it all together 
to give you the heading and then the real main characters showed up and you got teleported away to a different realm mm. pretty classic uh, we, we were stuff. we were needed elsewhere exactly exactly <laughs> i hatched the idea of like well in case this goes well it might just be funny to like put them put them like at the entrance of whatever the next expansion is and then we just yeah. we just roll with it from there Mm. Um, I don't, I don't know if the next expansion is starting there, but I know that it's all Planescape and there's reference books and stuff. So, you know, there, there will be, there will be something to build on if we want to do this again before the launch of Planescape. Yeah, and we'll be really treading new ground here, doing Dungeons and Dragons and kind of a podcast yeah. format. Uh, there's nobody else that's done that. Groundbreaking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do a couple of critical <laughs> roles. Mm. Yeah, there were there were a solid number of critical roles. Yeah, My very great. first role in D and D ever was was a twenty. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So wait, why like, and if my you've last never one. played before? Why do you have polyhedral dice set? I was just at Pax order. West yeah. and knew we were doing this, and I wanted to buy oh. a set of dice. Yeah. <laughs> so I did. Wonderful. Perfect. Yeah. Honestly, well, uh, if if you're in this like nerdy space, like it never hurts to have a dice set or two yeah. around, you know. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you all for playing with me um, and for for getting to experience the start of of Fandelver and below the Shattered Obelisk. Uh, the book is out now, uh, and I say now as of when we have released so this, this episode. Is published, yeah. You can check out the full review on techraptor.net as well as all kinds of other uh, d and TTRPG and indie TTRPG content over on TechRaptor as well. Mm -hmm. But I think that that is it from all of us here. Thank you all for listening. Um, let us know in the comments, um, you know, how, what are the worst times that you've forgotten to add something from your character sheet? As you've been playing D and D, yeah, Rod, why don't you let us in the every, every time? Yeah, I say there's that's um, all times for him. So, <laughs> well, hey, and yeah, also you thank you, out. thank yep. you to Stretch too. Yes, you for, for DMing all, all this. Yeah, of course, yeah, man. So much fun. <laughs> um, cool. Well, we have been Tech Raptor. Check us out. Goodbye. See you, everyone. <laughs>